boom, because we're not streaming. What's up, guys? We're back. It's been a couple weeks. It's been some time. Some time has passed. But we're here again for everyone's favorite one part German that's comatose. Three, two parts American, three parts Canadian, six parts the man of your dreams. It's a house divided. So, uh, real quick, before we like, before I turn it over to Joe, I will say here in this venue, because I imagine a lot of people go back and forth, there won't be any Doomsday Dawn this week, because the flu is sweeping through my country. Half the players were dead with the flu. And I'm probably going to get there too, to tell you the truth. But we didn't do anything next week. This week, rather. We're going into next week. And also, I'm in the process of editing a one-on-one -on -one for Sin Volca's, like, session zero point whatever I decide to make it be. For, like, his origin stuff, it's halfway-ish done. You probably expect it in a couple weeks, but it'll get there. It's going to sound good. It's going to look good. It's super exciting. Anywho, Robin, if you happen to show up or if you watch this to catch up, thank you for your patronage. Donald, thank you for your patronage. Kane, thanks for editing my stuff. Donald and Connor. Thank you for breathing. You're welcome. Yeah, it's cool. I said Donald twice. Yeah, really? This is just for you. <laughs> ah! ah! No! Man! Man! <laughs> oh, so much, so much breathing. All right, Joe. Before the breathing intensifies. Now that everyone's oh. speakers are blown out, thanks to Connor. You're welcome. I'm turn down the music on my side because I can't think. There we go. <laughs> All right. <laughs> music, I can't think. Yeah, man, that's real. It happens. I'm thinking too much. I just need to go. Um, what's up, guys? Last time on... I almost said Davinger. Last time on House Divided, uh, the group fought uh, really just a bunch of zombies and one big scary dude. Um, raided a little, uh, a little hamlet. Um, basically... They got a little bit of a clue as, as to what's happening. Um, they didn't do it, though. Uh, <laughs> it was discussed and proposed by the Council of Sinvolka. The Council they of Sinvolka. <laughs> Where you what, can what cast message all you want, and it will be fine. No one will be upset with you. Yeah, don't do that. Uh, when you get a chance to watch the video or just skim through it at double speed, Connor, just just mm -hmm. wait until we're approached by a bunch of knights and then go back to regular speed. It's it's the only part of last the last session that's actually important. Yeah, hey, it's real good. It was the best. <laughs> yeah, uh, our character is doing quote unquote heroes hero stuff. Yeah, we quote unquote hero stuff. That's us. Yeah. Speaking of hero stuff, we've um, come to burn here. their homes. Yeah, you, they all came to burn their fields. Um, a lot of just kind of the northern tip of Davonshire um, has been uh, reduced to cinders. Not the houses, but the fields themselves are barren with fire. Um, the group decided to make their way southwards, um, kind of meandering towards the marsh flats. Um, right now, though, the group, they came across a battlefield. Um, I'm not exactly sure if they decided to go back towards a hamlet that they passed by or if they're going to try and continue on. But that's up to them. And we're going to jump right in with some character reflections. Starting with, we have four people, so we roll one d4. Hello. Hello. Oh, it's uh, it's my my turn to go first. Oh yeah, oh, you can see that. I could not see it. There, it is. <laughs> Three. finally came up. Scroll. Three. So yes, it is Baku's turn. Well, it it, it was like lagging out. Okay. Like, huh? We'll have to burn its homes. So what what is going through Baku uh Baku mind? This this adventure has been quite entertaining for him. He got to do do doctoring thing, figure out a, a figure out the, the zombie play going on, hand out pamphlet of of uh, what what infected plants not to eat, which ones are safe to eat, what plants are are to be burnt to uh, prevent the illness uh, uh, infecting others, and general 
uh, doctoring stuff. Uh, and he uh, got to, got to use his uh, gun against a zombie. So he is he so he's a professional zombie killer, plague doctor healer now. <laughs> Excellent. Yep, did it one time. Totally professional. <laughs> professional. <laughs> did it once. Yes, That's... you're still level two. In the Big field one. experience. Speaking of level two, it's Cretus's turn. Yes, you who hasn't been here. Yeah, who hasn't been here and hasn't had time to watch the episode. I guess Gareth is having a moment of his selective amnesia due to all the head trauma. Yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Donald, tell us more about how to be a doctor. <laughs> so, 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 so back to take him. Hey, to Donald, quickly. At the same time, try and guess what each other are saying. Go! <laughs> uh, uh, quickly, doing doctor stuff. Stuff doctor. You know, if you build it right, effectively, it's a good class if you build it right. Effectively. Effectively. <laughs> it's effectively this. That's my Donald impression. I'm the worst. End of her sentence with the word effectively. Yeah, effectively. So, hey, so what is going to where? Yeah, mind. Oh, he didn't do it. <laughs> Effectively, Randy is... Sorry, I don't mean to make give you too much shit, uh, Donald. Only slight amounts of shit. <laughs> it's, just, just, uh, it's a vague skid mark of shit. <laughs> the rabbit tracks, if you will. Wow. It's how, it's how Kane expresses his love. I have learned this. It's by soiling my britches. <laughs> As I will demonstrate in today's session. <laughs> you got the case in your britches. Roll initiative. No, Randy shits his pants. <laughs> no, no, you don't understand. I can't. I drink. shit your pants. <laughs> <laughs> Just starts fighting everyone, takes their pants, craps in them, passes pants back. <laughs> Here you go. Here's your pants back. I will shit in your pants. If <laughs> oh, <laughs> collaborate. <laughs> Randy's having a bit of a, a bit of a mental breakdown. All he can think about it is shit. Uh, <laughs> he's just is remembering the war that he was apparently never in. What? Um, <laughs> this is uh, I, I, I don't know. I don't know how he feels about this. I don't think ever like Randy necessarily ever saw open warfare. So this is just sort of a. This is a, like this is what I was missing out on. Real glad I didn't go now. Sort of moment, and um, one by Metallica shit. begins to play in the background. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I, I always thought Randy was a soldier. I didn't know he was reserves. Yeah, pretty much. I thought it was I like mean, the he signed up with the military, but never, never ended up seeing active service. Okay, uh, he, was, he was basically he was like Habitat for Humanity, but with <laughs> the sword. <laughs> habitat That's for imperialism. Habitat. habitat for the expansionist empire. Oh, okay. Hey. I didn't know Randy was American. Oh, hey, hey it actually what? came up me. We did it. Yeah, it's coming up me. Everything. Oh, it is you. Yeah, you did tell us. Give us twenty minutes about what happened. <laughs> yeah. Love you, Robin. If you are listening, <laughs> throw up it. <a> Dead. <laughs> <laughs> Sinvolka wishes we would have said anything other than it wasn't us. Why was that the first thing come out of our mouths? I, I guess it worked. Sinvolka finds it curious that creatures such as him exist in the sense that they do, referring to the, the undead things we've been fighting that it was discovered last session. We're essentially like involuntary synthesis. The like the pumpkin with the bad things in it. The bad things was the Eidolon taking over the whatever. Which as a, as a PC, I, or as a PC, as a player, I find that super interesting. Personally, that's, that's a very good spin on a very powerful summoner archetype. Sinvolka is ready to turn back to the village we passed. Figure out. What else is going on? Because if I remember correctly, we'd, we'd stumbled upon, like, a couple of, like, uh, like local militias that had killed each other to death. Right? Yeah. And Correct. Nothing adds up. We need to find out more. It's been a weird week. It's been a weird week. 
And then Kuratama tells us all about the last session. Robin's out here right now. I don't have a sheet. I, I have a sheet at level one. But Lame. Well, I guess uh, you suck at hitting people again. Yes! Oh, yeah! He could just be... Bah, sleep. In he'll just he'll just exist. He goes into our inventory, much like much like yes. uh, Brian did for a long time. Yeah, <laughs> you like that baby in Fallout. Yeah. Do we have a bag of holding? Just stuffing in there. Burp, 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 burp. Make sure you get some air every ten minutes. Put a straw on the top of it. Yeah, yeah just yeah, exactly. A Noise. A snorkel. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Nah, give him, like, uh, give him a pipe with a funnel on the end of it, and every there once in a while we can just Dutch oven the bag. <laughs> <laughs> no, no uh, for bagel folding, you need to have a have a d d decanter of uh, uh, decanter of uh, endless. Air. You're trying to drown. Oh, endless air. I thought you were gonna say endless water. <laughs> yeah. <that's laughs> <good. laughs> yeah, just hose him down like a fucking cannon in a prison riot. Breathe. <laughs> <laughs> like a like a like a calf, like a freshly born calf. You just throw water on it so it'll breathe. You won't. I mean, if he if he acts up, just replace the bag of holding with a bag of devouring. We're good. Yeah, replace it with a mimic. No one will know. The, uh, it's a perfect crime. Uh, Zack did it up again. The the, uh, the decanter of endless water was one of my favorite weapons to use in a uh, one shot. We had to fight fight. What fight a uh, fire elemental? So we were playing fighter fighter against fire elemental starting fires. Now that'd have been good twenty five. Oh, there it is. Effectively, that'd have been good twenty five percent of the time in the ever watching tower. I'll say that. Yep, that was super good. All right, twenty five percent of the time works every time. Thanks, Paul Red. Yeah. Excellent. So, the plan is to return to the uh, hamlets that you guys had passed earlier. That's my vote. Yep. Let let go to the ha Hamlets. All right. Uh, well, there was no one when we were doing perception checks through here earlier. There was no one alive in this field. Like this field's been uh, set to to turn for a couple of days, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. It, there's it's rained. There's those the bodies that are out there have been out there for a couple of days. Whereas it's, it's what war looks like in this yeah. game. Yep. Yep. So, we're good. Let's go. <laughs> so, you guys trek a couple hours back, um, kind of nestled in between these two hills is a, uh, is a small hamlet you guys had passed earlier. You walk into town, everything's pretty quiet in town. There's no one sitting on the porch there's no one or sitting on the porches um the i don't have a map for it so i'm just going to describe it theater of the mind if you will um oh, oh, bleh, uh, the hamlet's nice. kind of set up like a cul-de-sac in the center of the cul-de-sac there is a like a circular house a few of the houses um they look like they like they, they look like there have been people around inside of here very recently, but it's like as soon as you guys got here, it, it quieted down. Hmm. All right. I, I do any of the houses appear to have a uh, have a uh, cellar? of uh of uh of some kind like a like a basement yeah something like a cellar or what would oh, be okay. like could have been like a basement to uh yeah. just to store things why okay i i was i was thinking you meant like root cellar but yeah, root, root I, cellar. I did i did also think that you were probably asking about a market um no <laughs> well i it, okay like i described the halfling hamlets are a cellar would be an offensive way to put it, but the halfling hamlets are like human houses built on top of halfling uh, dwellings. So calling it a cellar would be offensive, but yes, there are effectively cellars which are hobbit hole. Okay. Why do you want to find a cellar, Donald? Well, I'm curious if we can find any halflings in the 
happening homes. Oh, oh, I see. Okay, I thought you had some weird, like, loot the pantries for food. Today. Yeah, I wasn't <laughs> sure where he was going with that either. I'm confused. Very so, so as we roll in, everything just kind of, like, closes up shop? Is that what you're saying? Uh, it looks like it closed up shop literally a couple minutes ago. Alrighty, let's, uh, let's put our nose to the air and do the sniffing. I'm gonna high five Baku real quick for that guidance. Yeah, <laughs> on do point. You, do you like top gun it? Do you uh, like? Yeah, I I I, I high five Tavoka. Uh, pray 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 uh, that you can send send people. Twenty seven. Maybe I need to convert. I once had a friend with a gun, and it was neat. <laughs> <laughs> well, it. Well, Brie is uh, Brie is always willing to accept converts to her faith. Becomes a core deity in Starfinder too. Yeah, yeah, I'm talking about Rory. He was my friend and he had uh, a gun. <laughs> he did have a gun. He had lots of guns. He had several uh, guns. He's like our doomsday prepper. Yeah. Oh dear. Uh, he did live in a giant metal bunker in the ground. Uh, Why, well, yes he did. Nevertheless. Your perception check. Um... How they put? Hello, dice. Sure. Oh, you're talking to the dice. I'm like, did you lose connection? To the Hello, dice. <laughs> Hello, dice. Yeah. How you doing? We're fine, Tommy. We're in your dice bag. Oh, good. That's where, that's where I put well, you. Mine is scattered around under a bunch of papers and shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, a house divided is very good for my sanity. <laughs> Fifty nine. On that percentile, um, don't know why I told you, off. Um, <laughs> Simvoka takes a takes a look around, and he can see like behind one of the like, I, I would call it a shed. Someone may live in there, but it's it, it might also be a shed. It's just a small house, but you can see like the like half of a face of a halfling peering out from behind it at you. Alright. I will yeah, approach... Is it, is it just a state? Because that's spooky. I will approach No Bark Noonan. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell him all about the commie ghosts who don't know they're dead. <laughs> <laughs> Best NPC. And we're gonna grab that diplomacy and just come out. Okay. We're not going to hurt you. We just have questions. High five. <laughs> Boom! <laughs> The okay, clouds over my head turn to gears as we high five, <laughs> and Bree's favor is known to us all. So you approach, um, you say like, "Come out!" And the halfling like ducks his head, and then he like pokes his head back out. It's about this time you realize that this like, there's also it, at first it just kind of appeared like the handle of like a. Um, some sort of work tool, but you can clearly clear, well, wow. <laughs> there you go. Um, that in fact, he actually has a, um, a sling staff prepped and loaded. Um, he doesn't use it, but he kind of like peers around fully and you can kind of see this adolescent halfling's face staring back at you as he kind of like opens his mouth to speak a voice comes from behind you, um, much deeper, probably that of a human rings out. What kind of questions? We just want to know what happened down the road. Uh, you, you hear footsteps all around you. You can see, um, the man who clearly spoke to you comes out from a building on the other side. Uh, he kind of has, um, this old beat up looking armor on and this old rusty sword hanging from his side um, just kind of looped through his belt a few more humans and halflings come out there's one guy who has a limp who clearly was just in some sort of uh, a combat action um, they all kind of step out the man in question that spoke to you kind of uh like as you look at him, kind of draws your attention. He has uh it's a bit fairer than what you saw before, but he has kind of the deep olive skin. Well, not olive. I would call it more. Oh, 
kind of a brownish red skin. Um, and this reddish hair. And his eyes aren't so much deep red as they are kind of a light pink. Um, hmm. But he comes around the corner and he is kind of has this powerful presence. But he looks at you like up and down is looking at you. I would guess that you have seen war before, but uh, apparently you have not. I have. <laughs> I want to. Uh, what kind of knowledge check would it be to. I, why does he have pink eyes, though? Uh, <laughs> Might that be he's got alopecia, but for his irises. Whoa! Is that a thing? I know alopecia is a thing, but. It's, I mean, it, it could be like a very specific type of albinism, maybe. Uh, yeah, fair. Is albinism um, how you say to be an albino? Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. I thought it might be like to be from part of New York. Mm -hmm. Or Kane's charisma check is just high enough to convince you of such. Yeah, hey, yep. man. All right, so uh, here's a knowledge local, perhaps. Is, it is my peak stat. <laughs> I'm going to try it. I got my high five Baku make that a 17. Though I don't think the DC was 17. I mean, why not? It's a good habit to stay in. High five that Tengu. Why he has pink eyes um you know you've never seen this trait you haven't seen anyone else in davonshire display this trait nor all the people here are like fair-skinned light-haired well this guy does have light hair um and his skin the, a better way to describe it is like naturally sun scarred he kind of has like a, a reddish wouldn't be a good way to put it um the best way to put it would be Eurasian in our own terms. Kind of this darker yellowish with a bit of Danubian influence in it. Okay. That's the best way to describe him. Okay. So like like a yellowish Caucasian. Okay, sure. Makes sense. So here's a like perhaps a darker. religion check would be more appropriate. Fourteen. Assuming 14, Baku consents. On a religion check, um, maybe he's like. Well, you here's what I'll give you: because you've given two rolls, uh, the you have seen people in Davonshire with red eyes, though you know for a fact they're not from Davonshire. The people you saw with red eyes, not pink, but red eyes, were the Hruza, were the Crimson Riders. Ah, yes. Okay, fair. I'm with you now. All right. Do these guys look like they're gonna like turn on us? No, no one has a weapon. Well, no one has a weapon drawn that is also going to use it. The, some of the halflings have halfling slings out, um, or there's like a guy with a bow out with an arrow with an arrow knocked, but it doesn't look like he's going to. It's not pulled back. It's not drawn. Sure. Okay. So surveying them, is it is it just the dude with the limp that appears wounded? Yeah. All right. So Simbolk is going to turn around. Just Baku. Tend to him. Does it look like everyone here has sort of been in the midst of a roiling ass kicking? Um, no, not exactly. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, I could get his trusty uh, doctor bag and tools out and begin to look at who is the most injured, so he can. The man with the leg. Positive energy, please. Just what the doctor ordered. Not to like poop on your roleplay. <laughs> Pooping on his roleplay. Yeah, I'm the worst. So the most I... injured person is the only person who appears injured at this very moment is in fact the man with a bandage wrapped around his leg. Okay, so uh, so we're flavoring the channel energy. Praise praise Bree and he would uh, spout out a formula to to heal the wound out. Uh, one one plus five plus five plus three, uh, plus three a chemical uh, ingredient. Uh, the one plus four. five plus five plus three plus three. P plus three plus three. Uh, Seventeen. Plus plus three 
A nope. pain, 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 pain killers heal the wound. Seventeen painkillers to heal your wounds. Uh, yeah. well, uh, I, I, your, your math is wrong, but okay. <laughs> yes, no. we are aware that there's a reason why I said the wrong number. So, so this man wounds are healed. Um, more or less, yes. I got, but... I got hit points out of that. I did too. <laughs> Rolling around with some scrapes on me. If he's not, if he's not more or less, and we'll go we'll pitch into. I'll walk over to him and lay on some hands. Two more. Okay. If you mess with uh, my friends, I'll give you these hands, but they're for healing. <laughs> you better catch these hands. hands. I'm not an anti paladin slash. You're not a zombie. I don't think. I guess we'd know now. Yeah. No. His leg does. Under the bandage, his leg does appear to heal. More, it it flushes with color. Okay. Uh, uh, was there something you guys wanted to ask here? Cause... Uh, we were going to ask what happened to the other settlements close by. Do the hamlets often fight with one another? Not recently. However, I'm sure, considering the way that you came, you've been from one of the larger cities, and you know that there is a war going on. We do. Does this mean the Hamlets are choosing sides? This means that we are choosing sides, and that, well, they chose sides, he says, gesturing towards the field. So I'm gonna really quickly. I'm gonna message back. I'm gonna put my hands behind my back and point at Randy and cast message. Just whose side are we on? I forget. <laughs> uh, <laughs> We've been not, too busy killing zombie things. Not the royalists. Not the royalists. Okay. All right. Uh, let's do another knowledge local then. Let's look around and see if I can identify. Baku is on point. Let's see if I can identify like local it, colors, flags, indicators of whose side these guys might be on. Bam! I'm 11 it is. And I'm so tempted to just every one of my evolutions be skill focused and to just every skill I can put ranks in. That is not a bad idea. It's not. I'm not trying to do a million natural attacks on this synthesis. So, your role, um, looking around... You don't see any indicators of whose side they may be on. Um, what you see are simple houses of laborers and farmers, uh, along with this kind of strange circular house in the center of it all. Um, and a bunch of strangely well-armed people surrounding you. Okay. Okay. So no, I thought this was just a typical looting situation. No, there ain't no need raising. to go picking a fight with a whole town. That doesn't end well for us. Well, I guess I'll just turn to the the man who's talking to me. Just, what side did you choose? Um. The man kind of looks at you side-eyed. Um, you kind of like you get the feeling that he doesn't he doesn't trust you in any way shape or form he just kind of like says with kind of um, I wouldn't say like a smile but with like a kind of just a twitch in his mouth uh, it just the side that won clearly Alrighty. Then it is time to practice the sacred arts of diplomacy. Please, friend. We're, we're from... Baku is on point. All I have to do is say I'm rolling the thing, and you just... BAM! Macro! Guidance. Uh, Beautiful. Uh, just, like, patting your back the entire time. He's just, just sitting there praying in formula. E yeah, equals MC squared. Shoved yeah. into the back pocket of your jeans. I have, I have jeans? Say, Sweet. Like, I'm gonna go sell those and have the most comfortable pants in all of the Empire. <laughs> 
<laughs> You're very charismatic man being fondled by a bird. Yeah. I, I, am, I, I am imagining Fuck. the relationship between Tavoka and, and Baku. They are the best animal friends. Man, I'm, I'm only kind of an animal. I can turn it off if I want to. I can be just a regular person. I just lose the wisdom bonus, so that's bad. So it's yeah. a 12. I don't, I don't know if anybody out there in the rest of the PC land might diplomancy a little better, but just please, friend, we're from the uh, island. Nope. Dude, we've been over this. If Gareth opens his mouth, we get shot. That's fair. How many yeah, of them are there? Do much better. Baku will shoot you. Yeah. <laughs> I will guide him. So Toilet! I will guide, I will exactly. guide my, my other party members. You could try. You probably have better charisma than the, <laughs> the wizard alchemist and the fighter monk. The cleric gunslinger probably doing a little better. <laughs> Man just watches as Baku goes around giving everyone high fives. <laughs> 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 like, like, okay, so what side are you on? Yeah! yeah. Sorry, Baku's fuck a you. fucking hype man, like. So, so we, we did it, Joe, we have a hype man. <laughs> yeah. Yep. This, this campaign so far, Baku have been the mascot of uh, guiding thing people. Man, you so had a multi-class in the bard. Uh, dip, so a 14. Uh, F, can you not guidance yourself? I, I am. Oh, the macro includes guidance, doesn't it? Yep. Okay, so fair enough. So my base modifier was plus four. Before uh, I see. The guidance, before the guidance added in. Fair enough. It's all right. Next level. Right now I'm rolling plus seven. Next level it's plus sixteen. So, Jesus, summoners are good. Baku is student body president. <laughs> <laughs> in 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 a, in in a Baku home hometown he was leading an engineer of of his uh, a local brie brie uh brie face most popular. well there's his one-on-one -on -one right there his high school career <laughs> his high school I'm, no i'm, I'm still going with right that. now he just ran down the football line and patted everyone on the butt getting guidance he's that professor from fallout new vegas oh dear you have to go through the high school and just i can't remember the the boy and the girl's name that he hated but y'all know what i'm talking about uh, Jeremy something, I think. Yeah. Let's say yes and move on. I do. Uh, <laughs> so, your attempts to sway him, really he just stays stoically quiet. But you're kind of, you try and like convince him to give up the, the information. Alright. Is that, is that everything? Is that everything the rest of you wanted? Here, we walk three hours back through the mud. Uh, before we before we take off... Have uh, this very awkward conversation. I'm going to scent the air real quick and see if I can smell rotting Eidolon synthesis zombie pumpkin monsters. 14. Right, Baku? No. 14, no! <laughs> Guidance fails! No, you don't. Okay. Alright. Well, we were legitimately just passing through, weren't we? We doubled yeah, back. Yeah, we, ca we came back because we wanted to know a little more about that mud pit full of dead bodies. Uh, no, uh, I but, guess we uh, know. Yeah, folk here weren't particular for its coming with other than, they died! Uh, so I guess uh, I guess we'll go on ahead and uh, uh, as uh, make like a tree and piss off. I agree. <laughs> Thank Brandon you for your time, like, and I'm going to jump on the horse and... The opposite of Francis. <laughs> Love Street. <laughs> or the dice rolls in the last episode of Lord the Gallery. <laughs> there are no trees to awaken in the Dimension of Dreams. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just one snake. Awaken a nearby tree. Kill me! <laughs> tree! I am the dream tree! Constantly reawakening Oleg. <laughs> yeah. Just, stop it! I I didn't I'm want to play this character mind. anymore. I'm a monk now. I would have played him as a little pumpkin. Uh, fair. Yeah. All right, we resume the course back to the marsh flats. Back to the ferry to the marsh flats. Alrighty. Um. So you guys start to make your way uh, back towards the marsh flats. There are small, very small roads heading towards it. Um, 
it takes a, a little while longer. It's pretty late in the evening before you guys get to Marsh Flats. It's uh, like the ferry way that would lead to Marsh Flats. When you guys arrive, the um, city, it's or not the city itself. You can see the city in the distance, um, but the uh, I, I'll call it the ferry station on this side is burnt to the ground and you can see like sticking up out of this like nearby like coastline what would appear to be the uh like the bow of the ferry yeah wait so real quick who is the war between again someone want to answer well no we're in trouble um, well, ba basically, uh, there's a bunch of people who don't like the new management up in this, uh, Downshire part of town. They're like, ha ha ha, we don't want it anymore, so we're gonna murder everyone. So, like, a bunch of people left, and then they got a bunch of other people, and a bunch of people came back, and they were like, we're taking this city, and they're like, you can't have this city, and they're like, we're taking the city, and they shot cannons at us. And <laughs> it was real bad, and it blew up a bunch of buildings, but they didn't want to kill anyone, but they did want to kill anyone, so they just killed everyone that had swords. <laughs> uh, and then we left because we had swords. We were like, "This is a bad deal for us." <laughs> and uh, what has management been doing about this? Uh, well, we know a guy named Red Squirrel, right? And he's yeah. kind of just as lost as we are, sending us on errands through the Halfling Hills. We know a reject character from uh, Rocky and Bullwinkle, and uh, he, Moose and Red Squirrel. He's he's the the communist version of Rocky or of Bullwinkle was the squirrel. I no, Bullwinkle was the moose. Oh, tight. So, Communist Rocky, then. Yeah, I'd watch that. Anyway. Really enjoy cannon tank monsters in he this setting. He stabs you in the fucking kidneys with a knife. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but nice. I, I guess uh, I guess we're not yeah, getting over to Marsh Flats because they done did burn down all the, all the docks in the boat. And uh, I don't float so well. <laughs> clank, clank. Uh, so I guess we're just gonna have to mosey the f on. It's a, say, it's a pretty far swing, yeah. Support all of us. Uh, is there a boat? Uh, yeah, it's dead. The boat is dead, Donald. The boat is killed. It's like Carl. It's uh, I actually have the Manda, Manda, Manda spell, so I can fix the boat. You know what? I mean, I think if, the, if your you ass wants to swim out there, it got my... back here with some feet of inhuman strength. Dude, I also got mend. It's not gonna help in this case. I also have mending. That's almost. A, I think Kurtama does it too. Wait, uh, I have an idea. We have uh, rope. We, ha you have mage hand, and we and we have mend. Bro, five pounds yeah. of pressure can move that boat. I'm not riding in it. That's Randy's spooky leaving. Boat. Randy's on his horse. Randy. <laughs> Turned around. Well, be before that happens, that before that happens, I would like to. Explore or explore. I would like to investigate the scene of the battle and see what I don't see. Yeah, I get yeah, guidance. Yeah. It's a 22. Alrighty. Um, there aren't bodies littering the ground here. This looks like this been, has been going on for a while. They're uh, not going on for a while, but this happened a while ago. Um, it does appear you can you can find definitely bits of broken weaponry lying around and maybe maybe like uh like just a, a finger that was loosed at some point when someone got it bad on their hand. Uh, you got it bad when you're at the marsh flats and you get your don't let Baku eat that. Don't let Baku the, eat like, that. Don't let Baku eat that. <laughs> Fed, spritz him with water. No, um, bad bird person. It not carried yet. Give it another week. Um, the like the buildings around the ferry site, the ferry station itself, have also been burned down. Um, it's just completely abandoned. Okay, can I figure out about how long ago the the fight took place? Like a week ago, maybe. Oof, okay. All right. Next question: How far of a swim is it to Marsh Flats proper? Um, you can barely see. Marsh Flats kind of sits on a big grouping of cliffs. Um, you can barely see, like maybe like the keep of the 
uh, Marsh Flat Citadel from where you're at. So we'd have to swim over, and then once we swim over, there's cliffs to climb. Is well, I mean. there's a there's a dock way. Well, you assume there's a dock way down. You can't really see that far, but you assume that there is. But you would have to swim quite a way. This would be like swimming. Oh, I'm trying to think of a an appropriate. It's it's a really bad idea because we're yeah. gonna swim all the way over there, and then we're gonna have to climb the cliffs of insanity. And when we get up there, an Italian dude with a sword is gonna be waiting there, being like, "You seem like a decent fellow. I hate to kill you." I said, "You seem like a decent fellow. I hate to die." Yeah. No, there's another reference to a movie I only kind of watched. That's two in one week. Hot. It's um, not cold. But yes, that is. Speaking of cold, also it is. Oh yeah, that's very that's cold relevant. Here. It is cold and rainy. Mm, fair enough. Okay, Lovely. no swimming there. I guess if we happen to get, mm, give or take, twenty five hundred experience this session, which would be tight. I could rearrange my evolution so I have a swim speed and a climb speed, but... Ferry everyone across. Doggy paddle the whole way. <laughs> so looking up and down the shoreline, there is nothing here that can help us get across. I, you, know, you probably see some boats in the far distance, but they're too far to see you, though you can see them. They're far too far away to see you, and there's really no one on the coastline. I Question, okay. A question. Oh. Uh, with the destroyed building in the area, can we make uh, make a make a raft uh, and bury ourselves across? Man, unless somebody's got craft rafts. I've got profession engineer, but other than that, mm, that might be relevant. I don't, I don't uh, know if I necessarily want to jump I think on a, a branch better idea raft. Uh -huh. would be. First off, you said there's boats in the distance. Mm hmm. From here, can we see about the size or so? Um, the size, they're quite large. Um, so they're make a check of some sort. Uh, a knowledge check. Oh, okay. Hang on. So I'll try the knowledge local. So, oh, so uh, military knowledge isn't a thing anymore. Uh, modified 20. That's my Malcolm impression. Dirty uh, 20. Dirty 20! Oh. 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 So oh no. While, so whilst Randy's crazy. riding away on his fucking horse because his conversation is stupid, uh, I'll look <laughs> down the shoreline across the waves at these boats. See if um, I Randy is on top of it, though Gareth and Zimvolka do also pick up on it but get, randy like immediately is like those are warships like immediately okay uh first off i think gareth is probably right behind randy because going down the shoreline seems probably the best idea at the moment because there's nothing here except wood and burn scraps yeah so and, would be talking so, and writing yeah so if those are warships randy are you able to uh tell us who they're for yeah, would that tell me? Are they flying flags of any particular denomination? Um, I will say you can see they are. Um, they're kind of like from where you guys can see, they're like right about in here. So they're kind of on the border, like the sea border between Davenshire and Empire. Um, okay. The flags you see, they are kind of this burnt yellow with a oh, white okay. center. And, like, Randy can kind of tell that's definitely not the sim the flag of Davenshire, you assume. Um, well, Randy rolled high enough. The, like, the Imperial state that borders Davenshire is Pannon. That looks like the naval coat of arms of Pannon. Unknown. Is that in the Midland? Yeah, that's in the Midland Empire. Okay. Which is France, right? Kind of. Okay. And what it's is their status France, with Davenshire? Germany, Eastern Europe. Everything in the middle, as it were. Spain a little bit. Fair enough. 
Yeah, what is their so what is their association with Davenshire? Bad. Very uh, bad. X, Looks X bad enemies. X enemies, so Yeah, so not like actively at war, but not exactly on speaking terms neither. Mm-hmm. Which sucks, considering they share bridges. Okay. Given the uh, given their proximity and the the state of this ferry system, I think maybe they are involved. Yeah. So easily could deduce that the Midland Empire has something to do with this uprising. Yeah, and that we probably shouldn't be in the water. And that, yeah, and that we should probably move away from the shoreline because we just look like a bunch of Davenshire guys standing around. Even if we could do anything, four men do not pilot a warship. Yeah, I was going to say if they were friendly, we could shoot a flare. However, I don't think we should uh, be seen right now. I concur. We should uh, probably keep going on to Castle Daventry. Let's uh, let's throw a survival check down. It's only two more levels till, till I start going back into Slayer. Pretty <laughs> blood! Nice. Thank you. So for now, the check is kind of abysmal, but we're going to try it, see if we can find some tracks, see if we can figure out where people are going, because I worry that we might be riding into, like, a siege. If we, like, Ooh, boats point. here, marsh flats, burned, castle on the border, here goes nothing, 21, blackjack. Looking for, like, tracks yeah. leading away. Um, It's, like I said, it's been misting mm-hmm. all afternoon. Um, what was that? What are you pointing at? Uh, sorry. Well, you say we're looking for tracks, but our, our icons over here probably might be, it, it might help us to look for tracks, like, more between the crossing and Cap- yeah. Castle Down Tree. I agree. Okay, well, if you guys want to head over there, it starts, it's pretty late. Pretty dark. Well, it's not pretty dark. It's, the sun is setting by the time you guys reach over by this crossing looking for tracks as you move um there really aren't many it's been a week it's been raining on and off fair uh, enough yeah we had that whole time bullshit going down yeah yeah that was the thing mm. so it might be better to make camp for now how far are we from crispin's forest um a couple hours away because i'm super uncomfortable camping and just like on the open yeah well terrain. we shouldn't we shouldn't camp on the road but uh, we don't need to be so much buried in the trees i don't think no okay. we could probably just go off the road a little bit there when, when we see like one or two trees on the map joe does that indicate like smaller mm-hmm. forest like like a hollow or something those indicate like stands which i wouldn't call them smaller forests i would call them just small gatherings of trees and maybe uh, more more often a stand, but sometimes also, yes, a literal single tree. Okay, fair enough. So it's something to screen us from the road. Well, just put our tents in between the road and the fire. Yeah. Yep. Logical. So we are probably, and by we, I mean uh, Gareth and I are probably some of the very few things out here with dark vision, so... Mm-hmm. Halflings? No, halflings have low light. Okay, sure. Uh... So, uh, if uh, if uh, there is some uh, day uh, late hours uh, left, and we are taking watch, then Baku will take the first watch. So Volker will All take right. the second. Uh, much like in our other games where I can't see in the dark, I will take the final watch. Yep. I will not. Thanks! <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Nice, well done. Not the nap, the 24. Nice. Naps are also nice. I can do it. No. <laughs> so uh, total 25 uh, with guidance myself. So um, in the dying light, as you guys are like setting up there, like you guys are like throwing up your tents uh, nearby this, the stand of trees. And we'll say Donald, who's like taking watch and not doing his fair share of putting up the, uh, uh, the tents uh, looks up into the stand of trees and he sees the most peculiar thing. He sees an owl, which isn't that peculiar. But this owl has a monocle. It has Capitalist a monocle owls. and it's wearing a vest. And nope. human feet. Nope. <laughs> no. 
Nope, all old dwarf tales tell us if you see an animal wearing human clothing, you fucking kill it. That doesn't sound right. Yes, it is. I you don't know where he got that monocle? I will Ooh. kill. I will approach the uh, approach the owl and uh, talk to it. Well, you see, by doing that, you start a conversation that will loop forever because you're gonna get really tired of it and just button mash a as many times <laughs> as you can. Would you like to hear uh, that information again, backroom? Uh, Damn it! <laughs> Use the C buttons to look around the world map or however the Legend of Zelda worked. I don't remember. <laughs> That's about that. So a no. so a owl wearing clothing and a monocle is is, is in a tree. Yeah. Um. So you approach it. It watches you approach. It kind of has this like disturbing intelligence about it as you approach. Um. Once you get basically at at a, at a comfortable distance for it to speak to you. Um. You just kind of hear like this I was talking probably here. annoyingly loud noise. Just, hello! <laughs> it is Kipora Kipora! <laughs> oh, fuck. Uh, okay, I assume so the party not, hears that. I no, it's not. Fine, yes, okay. You hear a hello! Alright, so Volk is going to head on over. Uh, hello! Uh, what is your what is your, your name? Well, I'm Cedric! M my name what is... What the fuck uh, is a shit? Holy shit, a talking <laughs> owl! <laughs> I would like to detect evil. You don't detect evil. All right, the owl won't kill us in our sleep. That's good. Uh, my, my, my name right. is... Uh, killing my... you in your sleep would be fucking hilarious. Ooh, oh my god, it's from... We're, we're doing some... I know what this yeah. is from. Ah, yeah. yeah there you ah, go. yeah. Here we go with those Fungins. Not Funyuns. Not to be confused with Funyuns. <laughs> I um back up with it with the onions. <laughs> uh, my 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 name is uh Baku. It's quite interesting to see another avian uh, quite uh, avian of uh, the sentient type. It should have been Ven. I should have played Ven. Damn it. <laughs> the owl kind of like cocks his head. Are you supposed to be some kind of bird? I couldn't tell underneath the mask. This owl about to eat shit into the river. Uh, yes, uh, I am, and I reveal my uh, raven face. <laughs> Cedric oh. looks up at the rest of you approaching and just bellows out another hello! Howdy! Hello! Okay. <laughs> 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 Y'all motherfuckers are so rude. He didn't even do anything. He's just making sure that that magical owl is magical. Could be an illusion. Yeah, the owl is emanating a decently strong magical aura. Now, see, if it was just a talking owl, it would probably be like a slight magical aura. But now. Now it's an awakened owl. Well, it's probably a monocle of I'm an owl that talks and shit. Druid! <laughs> hmm. Yeah, or that. Uh, Sidwick, so what uh, brings you to this uh, part of the world? To this well, neck of the woods, you fuck! God damn it! He's so mad about it. He kind of. He, he looks at. Well, I was about to ask you the same question. I live here. He points to a hole in the tree next to him. With his beak. No, with his arm. With his arm. He has arms? He has, well, he has human arms. arms. <laughs> he, he, he's strong, dude. He's door. Like Macho Man Randy <laughs> Savage Dragon Bond. <laughs> yes. Terrible little boots on, too. <laughs> Trapdo! So, so uh, when it comes to the nest uh, that the owl live in, using my Tengu knowledge, is this a pretty <laughs> good, a pr pretty good Shut nest? Shut the fuck up! <laughs> <laughs> hey man, you played a Tengu. You played a Tengu for a long time. You know what's up yeah, with nests. I never rolled no knowledge, fucking human <laughs> underwater basket weaving and shit. <laughs> underwater basket weaving. Knowledge avian. Yeah, part 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 of me. 
a part of me need, need, need to know is is a Cedric home in a tree? Is it a nice quality home? We don't have time to redecorate his home, son. Those warren. You have to find a new freaking house hunters in the forest. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, I really like the beachfront view, but it's rather cramped. Yeah, you're sitting in an old squirrel hole. My uh, name's Baku. I steal people's teeth, and my budget is four million gold. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, he didn't even make that hole. He probably stole it from a fucking porcupine. Dead That's porcupine. Don't know how he got it. it has a door. Damn owl stealing a hard working okay, hole. Okay, so we installed some hardware, motherfucker. <laughs> that doesn't mean anything. Yeah, everyone notices, like, Baku looks at it. Everyone else looks at it. You see that there's a door to the tree. Is the door I big enough for, is the door big enough for a medium it. creature to go in, by chance? What? Is the door big enough for a medium creature to go in? Uh, no. It is large enough for a small creature to go in. For so, an owl. So the mediums yeah. can squeeze. Yes, you but... You jack this dude's house? Yes. <laughs> it's an owl with a vest and a monocle. He's obviously a wuss. We could take... <laughs> yeah, dude, this nerd. I'm good at beating <laughs> up nerds. Look at the bruise on the side of Gareth's head. Right? <laughs> yeah, what kind of dude only has shitty vision in one eye? I bet he's a dork. <laughs> <laughs> I <laughs> so real quick, anything I know about this? About this? Yeah, what the uh, hell is going on? Like, <laughs> okay, you've heard tales that long ago, when, um, when King Graham of uh, Davonshire was well at the time the Kingdom of Daventry. When he first started out, he had correspondence with some sort of... he. Well, he found several magical artifacts, but he also had some sort of correspondence with some sort of druid or that this Crispin's Forest is probably named after, and that this might be a remnant of that era of some sort. Of okay. Crispin the druid. Crispin the something. Crispin the mystic is most likely... Probably Crispin the Mystic is what re resounds in your head, or maybe Crispin the Sorcerer. Okay. All right, no one else is going to ask. Why are you wearing a vest, son? He <laughs> looks down and looks back up at you. And he, well, I've always worn this vest. I was born in it. <laughs> <laughs> it is... Uh, that is several shades uh, more terrifying than I was hoping for. It is... <laughs> Uh, it is quite the uh, ex excellent vest and monocle you 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 have for the make. <laughs> it is. Well, thank you. Okay. Do you happen to know what's going on in Castle Daventry right now? <laughs> well, no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I I am going to the, guys. These thinking noises are not for your pleasure. Oh, that was a thinking noise. I thought you said, "Well, no." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I also heard no. <laughs> <laughs> Funny. It's oh. like suddenly every game on Black Dragon Gaming, in some way, shape, or form, features a five or six intelligence familiar esque thing that's just there to be comic relief. <laughs> yeah, apparently. <laughs> oh he kind God. of like takes a couple steps over and he there's been a lot of men with weapons moving around <laughs> yeah and, we're like four of them <laughs> <laughs> besides us for you see uh do these men have any major uh important character uh <laughs> Character, going full character. meta on me? Yeah. What I'm, class <laughs> level should we expect to see when we uh, go to combat? No, 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 Cedric no, looks no. at you. He's like, Donald, remember we're playing a role playing game. Cedric, <laughs> <laughs> did you see any any uh, banners or anything to identify these uh, men, men of arms? Baku, you know where they came from. Look at the boats. But we can't see. We're away from that now. <laughs> Look in the direction of the boats and remember. <laughs> um, Cedric kind of like looks around at you two. 
Well, there's been lots of different banners. I've seen the King's Banner. Okay. Ordax Banner. Okay. Pershing's Banner. The what hell? do you ask? I'm sorry, how many banners was that? Three? Three, Three banners. Oof. This shit's got layers. Three <laughs> banners! Three! <laughs> Kane, you were muted until about a second ago, so... Yeah, I was. Okay. <laughs> I wasn't talking. I was just, I muted because I couldn't stop laughing. <laughs> <laughs> and that's a house divided. Oh, wait, we're called house divided. Are we supposed to blow up his house or? We must divide it. A bardiche is like an axe, right? Stop. <laughs> he's a nice owl, man. He is a good owl. You yes. don't know that. All he's done is say there's been guys with swords and banners for all we know. I have detected oh, evil. No, no, none of them Jews. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. Uh, we, we, are, we, 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 we are going to change the direction of the cam campaign and okay. decorate the owl home uh -huh. to make it the best owl home ever. Uh-huh. Yeah. House Hunters. I hate you so much right now. We're playing, <laughs> we're playing The Sims now. Oh, no. A Sim divided. <laughs> <laughs> that that sounds like body horror. It does. It that, sounds super spooky. Yeah, that's like that a mod you don't like want to download. That's yeah. way worse than a paint goblin. No, it's paint, not. Paint that's goblin. Actually, so the what do you think the paint goblin eats? It eats divided sims. Well, all right. So, anyway. Yeah. Anyway, so we uh, so three uh, three forces. Interesting. <laughs> you know, I would be more weirded out by this, but we're walking with a giant bird, so. We are. <laughs> yeah, most of the time, Baku is wearing his plague uh, plague doctor mask. <laughs> Man, okay, that plague doctor mask has to be super super good to like. Like, what happens to your beak when you put on the plague doctor? Well, mask? I would imagine. <laughs> Have you seen a plague doctor mask? I know it's got like. The... It just looks like his face. <laughs> <laughs> No, I'm, I'm, I'm aware, but when he talks, he doesn't talk through a mouth. He talks through the thing that's in the beak, so he'd have to have, be able to open it, right? Not really. He also doesn't have lips. Oh, I mean, if we ever needed to sneak Baku through town, we could just paint him white, or at least the top half of his head. And he's just a doctor. He's the doctor. Yeah, there you go. He just has a huge, oversized plague doctor beak hanging yeah. off the front of his mask so he can open his beak. It's like a pelican mask. <laughs> Alright, rough track. Uh, hey, Frederick, what do you do? Well, I wash over the forest. Alright, how's that going? Well, perfectly fine. No one's burned it down. He paces around on the branch. Nobody Has anybody entered the forest lately? Well, plenty of people enter the forest. They rely on it for food. Anybody unusual? Well, other than you lot, yes, plenty of unusual people. Oh, well, yeah, like who? There was a man with red eyes who entered it. Actually, four of them. Fantastic. We're not going in there. Anyone else? Did they happen Wait, to have no, Hold on. Where, where were they? Where were those red men? Are they still in the forest? Right on, right behind you! Ah! <laughs> 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 yeah, right now, and they all just somehow come out of the tree. And their vengeance is made clear. Clearly, T said it. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Simvolka quickly starts beating the shit out of Gareth because that that worked last time. <laughs> 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 okay. Anyway, uh, so um, we had the fruits of that eyes. Where did they enter? Um, hold on, just a second. Did they Cedric, like, my notes. <laughs> yes, actually, you Cedric opens up the door to his tree, enters the tree, and you hear like rustling around, and you hear, "Dag, not it." Does he have oh, fucking God. notes? As he's like moving, <laughs> getting things like moving around. The fucking finally... squirrels were in here again. Red squirrel pops out from the tree. Just oh, no one. Yeah. <laughs> he needed that information. He did. It's very important for the the sightless eye. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> yeah, with, with like a dime bag full of Cedric's weed, you know, notes and rolling papers. <laughs> Oh, oh I okay. hurt. Oh, yeah. um, so Volca will knock on the door to the house, and then, like, after just knocking for politeness' it's, it's, sake, and the door, like, door is open. You can see inside. Then I'm gonna knock on the frame and then stick my head in, and I'd like I want to make a perception check. Yeah, and, and, yeah. <laughs> here we go again. That happened in the Everwashing Tower. I'm setting myself up for more. Thirty-one. <laughs> Holy crap! How did that happen? Oh, well, I'll tell you. I rolled a nineteen. And I have this zero ranks. In, I have, all about how Tommy got a thirty-one, and I got plus one from guidance to make it a thirty-one from a good friend. Baku, got one little fight, and his mom got scared. And said, "Take the skill, we focus, and auntie in Cedric's and take house in Crispin's forest, <laughs> and make sure uh, you take the skill devolution for perception, and have a decent, I can't get out. decent wisdom." So, with a three mod and an eight from the skilled thing, and no ranks in perception at all, not even a class skill, I have a plus eleven. Speaking of perception. Um, Simvoka looks inside. Probably the first thing he's assaulted by is the slight scent of a lilac. Um, next, the little tiny lantern sitting on Cedric's desk inside. The tree is rather large. His entrance is low to the ground. Um, but, like, inside it kind of looks just like a small circular um, just house like a small house built inside of a tree there's like a little like bed that's been crafted it's a circular little bed uh, with like a divot in the center um there's a desk there's like a quill with ink um there um there's like a bookcase with tiny little books on it um it's rather cozy. There's like a little tiny fireplace too. You don't know where the smoke's going. You didn't see any smoke. Uh, peculiar. Uh, uh, I, I'm I'm curious. So so did so 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 uh so does uh so so did uh Martha uh, Martha uh, Martha Stewart did did design the design the interior? What the fuck's a Martha Stewart? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you don't know, you don't know Martha Stewart? Uh, she's no, a very famous know. dwarf, it turns out. No, she's uh, not she's a dwarf, she's a gnome. Oh, uh, she's she, fishing she, trees. Yeah. Uh, she, no, she, I don't she watch gnome television, and she's a rock your brain. Fair. But the television. Whatever race is known for that. Cedric, do you need help finding what you've lost? No, it would be just a second, he says as he likes is like sweeping things off of his desk looking for his uh uh his notes. You also notice that he has a small mirror above his desk. Okay. A very finely crafted mirror. Nice. I will nice. give him the room he needs because I imagine my head takes up a lot of that house. Just kind of back up. There's a whole house in there. It it, it is a it is a nice uh nice house a house in there. How would you know? Well, you, well could, you could look. You nice. definitely could have looked before I jammed my head in, I suppose. Well, a bird. Uh, well, a bird knows. A bird knows. All right. No, of course. <laughs> well, a mother knows. A bird knows. Mothers and birds. They both know how to house. It, 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 it is. It is. It is very important. Important that the tengu have a ha, ha, have a have a excellent nest. To what nest to uh, call home? Yeah, where's your nest, doll? Well, yeah. m well, my nest. It, it is my uh, my bedroll. <laughs> the best bedroll that that you would see. The best bedroll that you would ever see. We have the best hands. bedrolls. <laughs> Huge. All right. This I will now patiently wait for Cedric to come thing. back and tell us about the Crimson Riders and what they're doing in the forest, and how we shouldn't go follow them. Um, so, a couple minutes later, Cedric emerges, carrying a few pieces of paper. He lays them out, he kind of, like, walks around, observing them. They're kind of written in this strange chicken scratch, if you will, that's pretty unlegible. 
but Cedric seems to be scanning through it quite easily. Um, but uh, finally, a few seconds later, well, I haven't seen them leave yet, but they entered in the northern half of this forest and they appeared to be traveling quickly south. At least that's what I have written here. Oh, that could also be a pack of wolves I was tracking, though. I don't know. I just remember I was very scared. Very drunk. Um. <laughs> Owl, uh, 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 he's he hearing this. Baku uh, is confused. Owl, drunk? Owl, speak. Owl, have house. Owl, drunk. Owl have Not far of a stretch at this point. Alcohol. Yeah, no, we've kind of exhausted all of the, like, oh no, that could possibly happen. Like, we were, we're scraping the bottom of the barrel here. Yeah. yeah, frankly, if he has a house, he understands civilization. He knows people drink. We drank before we had civilization. I mean, he lives in the woods. He probably makes it himself. In the toilet. Yeah, we didn't find oh, his moonshine. No, you don't, his... don't drink toilet Merlot. That's got a lot of ammonia in it. You'll get die. <laughs> You'll get die. That's what I said. I'm sticking to it. You'll get That's die. That's like death. Fair enough. Okay. So, <laughs> Cedric, are you, is, what was is, that? It, what? What was that there noise? There was definitely a spooky that was, noise. That was, that was my wife. Oh, I gotcha. All right. Yeah. Said like a dog being thrown through a combine. <laughs> hug. A dog being thrown. Okay. No. <laughs> through a combine. <laughs> <laughs> Fatality. Wow, this mic must be picking up sneezes weird. Anyway. Yeah, for sure. Now that oh, yeah, sounded yeah, like... I just, I heard it too. The dog oh, being it. resurrected. <laughs> We're like it came back to life. Um, what? what? Just, you can stop it now. Going through the combine. <laughs> <laughs> just right through all the shredding. Anyway. Um, so just try to ask Cedric if he can freaking like see the forest at all times or does he just fly around? Cedric kind of looks at you for a second. Well, of course I can. Which one? See the force at all times. Well, there you go. Where are those guys? Right behind you. Frederick. <laughs> Step inside. No, we did that bit already. Wait, Frederick? Uh, Cedric. <laughs> Frederick. A dwarf appears. <laughs> a snowy owl griffin. Yes. He, a dwarf flies down with flapping his arms wildly. <laughs> The way avian for now. All right, kids. That'd be a really fucked up scenario I if would. Frederick was your dad. Yeah, uh, yeah. Oh man. You're the GM. What have I raised? You're the GM. You have that power. I'm a failure as a father. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Torag is pissed. Yep. Okay. Anyway. Uh, I think we... Owl goes in-house and does a thing. Yes, Owl does go in-house. Um, <laughs> Owl leaves the door open, and Cedric, you start to hear, like, Cedric, like, you're kind of him, like, bringing stuff down, and then you hear him, like, chanting for a couple seconds. Um, and then Frederick just kind of, like, sits in there <laughs> for maybe a minute, just staring at his desk. How did the dwarf get in that hole? <laughs> that's Frederick. Oh, that's it again. That's Frederick. <laughs> Who was yeah, getting a call him on it? So it's just a death. Like, us looking at it, it does nothing, right? You you can't really see past Cedric or Frederick. They're both just in there. Because <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, like, should we, like, should we, like, punch the bird and take his desk and run or what? <laughs> no. That would not be a lawful neutral action. But I'm not going to Poo poo. Poo poo. The paladin shakes his finger at you. Uh, we uh, we uh, we shouldn't cause any harm that we uh, that we that we do not have to cause. To be honest, if we turn around and come back in a week, I think the harm will do its own. We don't need to do the harm. Is what I'm getting at. The harm will happen. Isn't that bad? It is bad, but that seems to be there our lot in life. Whatever, just uh, waiting on Cedric then. Yep. So, Cedric emerges about a minute later. He he hops back out 
uh, in a very bird-like fashion. And he looks at you and he, he looks uh, looks around, shakes his head. Is well, they've I can't see them anymore. Oh, I good. I have no idea. I do know that they entered. All right, you said there was other unusual people, other than us and them. Oh yes, there was a man in a cloak. He uh, was scary too. Uh, mm -hmm. He entered and left. And um, there are some poachers. Naturally. Uh, really, that was all. Cedric, is there anything in the forest other than what people need to survive? Well, there's trees and flowers and grass and bugs and deer and oh Crispin's cottage and really and where might that be oh Frederick kind of shakes his head at you we'll Torag wouldn't like that I had to do it because you said Frederick not Cedric Cedric <laughs> <laughs> need a show Tommy okay <laughs> It's too big, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! But um, no, Frederick just ooh, and shakes his head. Oh, yeah, I probably should have seen that coming. All right, <clears throat> how's Chris been doing, Cedric? He's been dead for 20 years. There we go. 20 years. Yes, 20 years. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Why do you say I'm so surprised? <laughs> I was just, I can understand, years. like, if you'd known him or some, but you were like, what? Like you'd seen him yesterday. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like funny. like he picked you up in his big rig on the highway and dropped you off at a truck stop and was like, tell him large Marge sent you. And then he got captured and put in a cave with a strange minotaur monster. That's how we met. Did, did he not did he not do that for you? Nope. Nope. No. No, nope, that didn't happen. Oh then. Driving his big magical sea crossing big rig. Yeah. He's Otherwise, a wild farm. Oh, that's called a what? <laughs> a tanker. A tanker. Ah, fair. Large Marge has been dead for 20 years. <gasps> Cedric, is there His anything in Chris... Camouflage. Is there anything in Crispin's Laying cottage... Laying there since last night. <laughs> is there anything in Crispin's cottage these people might be after? Well, I don't think they'd be able to find it, but yes. What is it? Oh, and he shakes his head again. You're not allowed to tell us? I'm, I've said too much! In bird culture, we would call that a dick move. I've just, right, so just right, started I watching guess, Rick and Morty. I can make that joke. Here's the diplomacy. I got, I got one more question. Oh my goodness! Yeah. Never mind. Just start throwing up! No, uh, <laughs> blah, 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 blah. <laughs> I was just gonna say, like, is it is it because it's it's just hidden real good, like under some branches and junk, or is it that, like it's magic? I'm a talking owl. What do you think it is? I just so I wanted to make sure. Maybe it was real good, like cake decoration. <laughs> they did it in a play I saw. Wait, if I could see two branches. Well, I was gonna ask. I was gonna try. Like, please, no, we're friends. You can trust us. <laughs> please, please, no. I want to eat you. <laughs> please, no. Owls are tasty. Garlic butter. Please, Frederick. You just call him Frederick. Yeah. <laughs> Who yeah, is that's... Frederick? That was the one. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna um, go finish setting up the tents. Yeah. So, Sinvolka kind of like starts advancing and his mind slips and he like please and as he does so he kind of like uh, well, well we'll say as he approaches he burps <laughs> which just kind of triggers Cedric Cedric is oh as Sinvolka approaches Sinvolka like kind of has this like 
already kind of predatory thing about him already. Well, he's wearing a wolf on his head. Yeah, a living know. wolf creature um, thing. Picked up on it, but as he approaches, he's kind of like, please, burps. <laughs> and like, <laughs> Cedric just, whoo! And like, he starts to flap his wigs. It looks like he's going to try and take off. Then you kind of realize he's not trying to take off. He's just moving his arms. And about that time, Simvolka falls flat on his ass. Cool. Sitting in a, a pool of grease. Yeah. Good. What? He's a wizard owl. <laughs> I'm a what? Couldn't you <laughs> tell by the monocle and vest, you rube? <laughs> <laughs> And Clearly with that, the markings Cedric, of a great and powerful sorcerer! Oh, uh, you said wizard, sir? <laughs> Cedric hops Monopoly into his house. Bloodline. Slamming the door, and you can hear little clicks that you assume are him locking the door. <laughs> He's got he a like, deadbolt and like a bunch of like those, those hotel locks that just flip closed. Yeah. Yeah. And then you can see his little, well, his big owl eyes staring at you from the little port in the door. This, this is fucking silly. And I go help Randy. Yep. <laughs> Everybody's left me and Cedric all alone in the tree. Okay. Oh. Don't stop fucking with that bird, please. <laughs> <laughs> Joe, are there acorns nearby? Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> Joe understands um, why. You better have a boom box and some fucking Alanis Morissette press, because like, <laughs> otherwise that shit's not gonna work. No, it, it like what you're looking at is Cedric lives in like an like an ancient yew tree, Y E W, and he is surrounded. Like his other tra- stand of trees are simply like the sproutlings of the yew tree. Okay. So no, there are not acorns nearby. I think I know what you're getting at. I can't tell him I'm sorry. Well, I guess I guess what I'm gonna do is I'll just just look at his eyes looking at me through the door, just I'm sorry, Cedric. I don't know what came over me. Thank you for your help. And then I'm gonna turn back in the direction of my friends and help set up camp, the last I guess. He is like Cedric's head darting from the door. Friends is a strong word. <laughs> I set up the you keep camp. running around scaring the shit out of the wildlife. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I'd call that wildlife. How am I supposed to hunt anything to eat if you're just screaming at everyone? Are you planning on hunting powerful wizards? I do, you didn't know Maybe he was a powerful it. wizard. He cast grease on you. And powerful grease. I didn't even get a reflex safe. I just you fell. Powerful grease. <laughs> you just fell, yeah, because you rolled a one. Oh, ah. Uh. The, the meta has oh, wow. spoken. Not full meta. <laughs> <laughs> what is Cedric it? opens up the door. Remember, Kane, this is a role playing game. Wait, Kane, get in. Shut up. Get in, just close that door. What okay. Is natural, what is a natural one? It's a one that's real. I, I go to bed and ah. tell my watch, and we pass time and then figure out what we're going to do at the start of the next day. Alrighty. I guess. A series of perception checks, just in case, sir. Ignore Discord. Anyway, um, yeah, I guess any more perception checks before we wake up and decide what the hell to do. What the hell? Sure, go ahead, guys. Okay. Man, oh, oh Jesus two in a row! Oh, two in a row! Oh, somebody would have rolled that. We're all rolling perception checks. <laughs> Yeah, but it was you, and that makes it worse. Classic. <laughs> in a row. You belched at our at our Disney field guide, and now you're now you're asleep on the job. It's not <laughs> Disney. It's another competing movie company. It, our Pixar starts with an S. Disney Tony? ends with Iera. They don't exist anymore. Well, they might. They do not. Winnie uh... the Pooh. You've been assaulted by Winnie the Pooh in the night. There you go. Um, Shit, that's not good. That's a fucking bear. <laughs> <laughs> it is a bear. It's a yellow bear. Don't know what those stats are. Figure it out. Figure, figure it out. Look up yellow bear CR20. <laughs> <laughs> um, Oops. 
He's not evil, but he will treat. He will trap you in a realm of your own imagination. Oh no! Forced to relive <laughs> your childhood for the rest of eternity. Oh no! <laughs> oh yeah! We are all four adventurers by default. Our childhoods were not good. No, they they were not. Um, you don't know why. None of us know why, but they were good. Nope. No one knows mine either. We're not a we're not a big touchy feely group. We are not. So, it's about. Uh, well, during Sinvolka's watch, Born there the is kind of just a, a moment during the night when, like, everything is deathly quiet. Sinvolka kind of, like, sleep starts to come over him, and he, he, he resists it first. But eventually, Sinvolka himself is asleep, and really, because Sinvolka was awake, he wasn't able to wake up Randy, who wasn't able to wake up Gareth. And you guys basically awaken the next morning, and, oh, well, you guys, like, in your tents, well, not in your tents anymore, your tents have been removed. Lovely. Standing around you are a group of soldiers they do not look very friendly in fact there's a man standing over i will say well because he rolled a natural one there's a man standing over sinvolka kind of this older gentleman um kind of graying brown hair uh i, I wouldn't call it a few menchu i don't know what you would call it a mustache with a long goatee um very fancy looking uh he is um, dressed head to toe in full plate and the tabard he wears um, the the banner he wears over his armor is this like I described it this burnt orange with a white well you can see it now it's a white falcon and he stand like this man standing over Sinvolka's stuff is he is awake they all are awake. Quick question. How long would you guys standing there after taking the tents down? A good while. That sounds boring. <laughs> I wouldn't speak, dwarf. No, fair. No charisma. <laughs> <laughs> the man, like, when you guys, like, finally look around, you can see like as the sleep starts to clear from your mind you can hear like booted feet and like you can look over towards the road and there are um columns of soldiers in the same uh colors marching down the road <laughs> you suck <laughs> i know i know what's happening nothing good so do i describe it randy wakes up <laughs> Um, Randy wakes up he looks around he sees standing over Sinvolka which um, he shouldn't be able to because you guys were in well you guys weren't in separate tents but you shouldn't be able to see the sun your tent has been removed um, you guys are lying down your weapons have been taken from your sides and there is standing amongst you and the one man that stands out among them who is standing above there's a lot of standing in this sentence in apparently um above is, Sinvolka is this man i described him older but he still has a few kind of brownish hair brownish hairs um kind of i i don't know what exactly to call it but he has like a mustache and goatee um kind of very uh oh uh, very Disney villain, but he owns. Yeah, stuff. yeah. Um, but he's standing over Simvolka. Well, basically, he's standing over all of you guys, but he is directly above Simvolka. He's wearing very nice full plate, and the tabard he wears is that burnt yellow. And you can see it now. It's not an eagle, but a falcon on his on his chest. He has his hand resting on his sword, and he's like, 
Like he says, like, oh, and Caligula's soldier is also away. Howdy doody. Wow, what the fuck? <laughs> and I can't do a very good French accent. So we're just going to continue with whatever the hell this is. That's all right. You asked him, like, wh what, he, what he's doing here. He <laughs> looks at you and he says, Clearing the riffraff from the battlefield. Oh, we weren't on no battlefield. We was camping. Yes, that's very apparent. Stand up. He looks at everyone else and he kind of takes a step back to. So I can actually stand up. All right, Jim, sure, I will do so. All right, yeah, I'll stand up. Where's my shit? You, and you hit your head against the crotch. Anyway. <laughs> my fate is deserved. It is. <laughs> Bing! Shit! <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I didn't know what you heard. I just heard, yet! <laughs> yet! Um. <laughs> the war cry of the men of the Midland Empire. <laughs> right like... at the round table! <laughs> <laughs> it's like, oh. like yeeting, but a little different. Yeah, it's, it was like a stifled yeet. <laughs> <laughs> um. The uh, the man kind of like takes a step back and like, now stand up. I, I did. You said it. You said it. <laughs> I like, didn't get it. I was. You, you said it I like twenty thinking. seconds ago, and I was I, like, I, I get up, and then everyone I, else was like, we all stand up. It was. <laughs> it was a big production. Yeah, it was sweet. It was the best ever. Uh, yeah. I didn't yeah, hear that standing up. But you're just short. You're racist. So, <laughs> Sinvolka is. Oh god. How outnumbered are we? Like a million to two. The two? Like, there are four yeah. of us. You fucked this up, I'm not helping you. Damn it. That just means there's five hundred thousand of them, alright? Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Fair. <laughs> Clearly there's been some sort of misunderstanding. Diplomacy check. Well, I mean Okay. <laughs> Thanks, Donald. <laughs> Hey, that's 28, um, man. That's, na that's natural 20. Yeah, that, you gotta, you gotta yeah. stop fixing your problems <laughs> with natural 20s if you cause them with natural 1. Now, dude, that's how it works. That is how you play, Pathfinder. I don't know. <laughs> it doesn't know. Um, <laughs> does anyone here speak Midlandish or yeah. Carolish? Not Midlandish. I. What was the second one? Or Carolisian. It's the same uh, thing. Let me check uh, my... I do not. What, what were the two? Sorry, it was Midlandish. Or I, yeah, I got Carolisian. Oh, wow. Do you have Carolisian? I have yep. Common, Sylvan, and Pick 3. <laughs> <laughs> we, you made this... We, I, we keep making this joke. It's a good joke. And he picked three. He did? <laughs> um, <laughs> so, to everyone except for Gareth... Sweet. It sounds like just fast chitter chatter between him and another knight standing next to him. To Gareth, essentially, he turns to the man next to him. And just there are rather there are rather odd riffraff group to be st staying together. I don't assume that they are soldiers. Okay. Yeah, you're gonna repeat that in, uh, in a language any of us understand? Please. If they're standing right in front of me, why would I be translating right there? Just stand. Let them can think that we can't understand them. Can you cast message? Yes, I can actually. Shit, I have prepared. <laughs> Don't cast it on them. It's a low magic setting. <laughs> Don't cast it on them! Booga 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 booga! I am your new god. <laughs> well, it's whispering, see? I have to do. <laughs> <laughs> I, I actually arguably have, worse. I'm laughing yeah, so I, hard, my throat hurts. I I actually have a comprehend a lang, lang, language. Are they domain? Uh, domain? Uh, Are you domain going to spell? try and cast a spell? Casting spells is not a good low no. magic setting. Well, I may pre 
Batista. So I'm going to begin casting spells in front of the fighters. Yeah, I've definitely I've had it in the back of my head that like I need to spend my minute and summon my idol on right now. Actually, I have not because I would <laughs> die. Dude, I need I need to pull out my little piece of copper wire to use message. No oh god. <laughs> it's like and it's got a verbal and a semantic component. I, I am, I'm very well, obviously casting. Yeah, but your semantic component is just you pointing at someone. Dude, it doesn't matter, dude. It's it's all semantics. <laughs> You're gonna turn around and point at someone semantically. <laughs> I am. Uh, I am. I change my mind. I'm going to use. Uh, use. Uh, use. Ma magic. Good. That's the best idea you've ever yeah. had. Okay. So patiently we wait and see what uh, happens. Which one? Yeah, I don't know. Gareth. I guess as he's getting up, just kind of past his pocket where the wire is. Flicks the thumb towards. I'm gonna to say some Volca. Yes, that's me. Yeah, it's you. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and just kind of mumble under his breath, like they don't think we're soldiers, which, I mean, we're not. So maybe just keep quiet for now. I understand. Don't say that out loud. <laughs> <laughs> you can like when it's cast, you can message back, right? Yeah. yeah, you can okay. message back. That's what I thought. It's like Falky Talky. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah, Sivoka will do the same and point it at uh, that. Mm, it, it, it better be. It better be Randy. Just like point a pinky and just. Then yeah, now we play the telephone game. Randy can't cast it. Gar yeah, that's fair. I'll point I it. Do it again and again. I'll point but, it at, at Baku and just. They think we're soldiers. We need to be quiet. And then when it gets to Randy, it can be their soldiers. Be quiet. <laughs> <laughs> By the time it gets back to Gareth, I want chicken nuggets. I do, yeah. This is about the point in the night where Kane orders chicken nuggets and complains about how expensive fast food is in Canada. <laughs> Every, everyone's got the message. Yes. So, Please. what was it? Uh, uh, it's so bad. Be quiet. Chicken nuggets are quiet. <laughs> <laughs> True. That's a okay contender for session title. Chicken nuggets. Chicken nuggets are quiet. There you go. They have no uh, mouths, but they must scream. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> they <That's> am. So, <laughs> so far, I'm stuck on the episode title being between uh, Chicken Nuggets are quiet and Fuck this owl. <laughs> <laughs> Strong contenders. <laughs> the wrath of Cedric. <laughs> the wrath of Cedric. Uh, I think I like that. Is the wrath of Cedric? That's it. I think Path of Cedric is actually pretty good. The Path of Cedric. Yeah. <laughs> Might also be good. Uh, like, anyway. like like owl puns. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, just an automatopoeia of a fucking owl hoop. That's the session title. <laughs> oh. <laughs> With random capital O's in there. For emphasis. Okay, now. Anywho, we, so what's going on now? We wait and we make dumb jokes until these guys go away. <laughs> we do. Um. Well, I mean, we're not completely unarmed. Yeah, you can start trying to punch people. I can bite people. <laughs> so, can, so can Gareth. It will be less effective. I can. <laughs> I, I. I can. I can peck people. That's called slamming. But Baku, you might break your plague doctor's mask. No, I think it's a bite attack for him. Yeah, he has a bite hey. attack. as a tingu. Yeah, beak. Uh, That's hilarious. Blood beak. Yeah. Axe beak. I like the slam attack. That's that's how I, I just imagined him. His beak would be too short. He'd just be throwing his face at people. We just start moshing. <laughs> it's just it's a pointy headbutt. Open this yeah. pit up. Beak, beak, beak attack. You want to know what Kansas City is known for? Not the cement or the political machine that it had. The Tengu. It's, the mosh pit. <laughs> it's for corn. Yeah, no, that's, the, that's the, also the, accurate. The, the 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 best thing about the beak attack it's. It does a D3, D3 damage. That's the worst thing about it. That's it's the for best giant thing. bipedal crows. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So, so what? What game happens? What game happens? A house divided. What happens? Game happens. <laughs> yeah, that's what happened for the last 
Two fucking hours. Yeah, dude, welcome to House Divided. Two fucking hours. This, this is That's why actually we... three hours IRL. Wow. Um. <laughs> That's why we don't level. That may <clears throat> that may have sounded that may have sounded saltier than I intended. I am not salty. <laughs> if I wanted to level, I know I could fight all these guards, die horribly, but just count the experience until I get to seventy five hundred. Why, why are we getting XP for shit posting? That's fair. <laughs> that that's that's yeah. this game. <laughs> <laughs> a house for shit posting posted. be the title. Uh, <laughs> so. Just be the name of this fucking game. It's XP for shit posting. <laughs> uh, anywho, yeah, yeah, come on, children. Anywho, was anywho. Oh god, damn it. <laughs> All right, what do you guys want? Uh, we're not. Dying, we're not dangerous. That's the opposite <laughs> of what we said. <laughs> wow, where well, we are dangerous though. So the monk was just going to be very quiet, have his hands at his side. The man looks right. at you, looks Every at fight we've been across in. all I, of I you. I was there. <laughs> do I have silence yet? Like, okay. <laughs> no, I do not. Where did you all come from? Well, we all come from different places. He raises his eyebrow at you. He gives you a look of... I could easily run you through and no one would care. <laughs> well, that's, I mean, that's probably true. Uh, I'm from Avron's Isle. He's from I don't know. He's from I don't care. And he's uh, he's also from Avron's Isle. Which one is I don't know and which one is <laughs> I don't care? This is why we need a table. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is why we need to move the Canadians to Missouri. I don't, I don't know. What's the difference between apathy and ignorance? I don't know. I don't care. Not much. Um... The man kind of... Where were you stationed from? Avrin's Isle, I just said that. That All is lot parents. Are you from the Adventuring Guild? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> we are. You all are now our prisoners. You will carry your arms because you are but four men, but you will come with us. All right, where are we going? <laughs> Wherever I say. So that'd be... Uh, so Andy, does a thirty hit your armor class? Oh god damn it! No. <laughs> really? No, it wow. Doesn't. Well done. Good job, Kane. I'm proud of you. Kane, you know there's right, more well, to this game. Than... You across the face. So much more to this game than optimization. You don't need to have a thirty <laughs> armor class at level Max two. Max damage, actually. Ow. For f uh, no, that's eight points of non-lethal damage. Okay, okay. that um is painful. He looks at you as, Did I not tell you that you, you were prisoners? I mean, that word may have occurred somewhere. Okay, here's, kinda, a, here's a knowledge... Just a moment, I actually think I might have something here. Here's a knowledge local check. I want to know... I want to know all about the Geneva Convention. 17. <laughs> <laughs> I want to know what rights we have as prisoners in this program. None. No, it, no it's prison. medieval. God damn. Well, you never know. We are not nobles. We have no rights. We, we the are. Fact that, the fact that we're not just fertilizer is amazing, honestly. But. The, no. You get the feeling that the only thing that saves you from a worse fate is the fact that you are associated with the Adventurers Guild and that. A sanctioned power, or a power sanctioning the killing of adventurers would piss off some of the most powerful beings on Lauren. Thanks, Ooh. Aubryn. I'm wondering if the whole we're adventurers thing kept us alive or not, because if it did, if it's the thing that get, got us as prisoners, we could just hit him with a memory lapse. But... Well, no, it's the oh, only thing, thing adventurers, the only thing that stopped him from murdering us here where we stand. I think we just have to accept our lot for now. Try to find a way to break out later. The man, he, like, clasps his hands in front of him, kind of just in a 
kind of in a resting position. And uh, he looks across all of you and he's just, Where was your point of entry? Everwatch. What is the current status of Everwatch? We aren't occupied. sure. Occupied. Oh. By whom? It was being occupied by royalists as we were leaving. Hmm. Do you know where the royalists came from? <laughs> Probably Pershingham. Hmm. You kind of, they look at uh, each other, the, the like knight beside him and the man, the like, the man you've been speaking to. <clears throat> and uh, the knight says to him, he says, this is unlikely, sir. Pershingham is the capital. They would most like, I don't know why he's Russian, but we're just going to go with it. Uh, foreign legion. Foreign legion. It's the French foreign legion. Um, the um, they, uh, it is unlikely, sir, as Pershingham is the capital, the seat of parliament here. And the Gareth understands this, of course. Yeah. As uh, Stephanie throws fucking plates across the room. Yeah. <laughs> yes. She's just Stephanie throwing shit at me now. Trail mix in the mind. Go away. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. Anyway. He turns back and... Um, do you know the status of the forces... In Davenshire. Quick message to Randy being do not they like they think you're bullshitting them. Yeah, but the best part is I'm not. Uh what, like the, the native forces of Davenshire or the Royalist forces? The forces. All. Well, it's kind of a civil war situation, so they're, it's kind of... Your shit is in the ceiling. He laughs at your... your little idiosyncrasy there. Mm -hmm. uh, looks, this man, I like him. He is so... poor. <laughs> <laughs> he, he looks across all of you. He's, Funny, we have gestures. I didn't expect to find a comedy troupe resting on the side of a field. Oh, man's got to sleep. I mean, what, what, what else would you find? A bird? A what other do the dwarf? <laughs> you both kind of cut each other off, and I don't know what, what the fuck cities have you? What other cities have you been in? Uh, well, let's see. Started off in Everwatch, came around to Davenport, swung through the Halfling Hamlets. That place was a fucking peach, I tell you what. Uh, and then we came down past the March Flats, couldn't get in. And then we here we went to you, uh, you handsome, upstanding gentleman. Mm. He spits tell me the blood. status of Davenport. Uh, angry? Fucked. Crimson. By what? By what do you mean these of these words? Angry, fucked. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, you ever come home and you find your lady? Uh, <laughs> <another> man. <laughs> oh, we're gonna die. Two <laughs> hit your own class. And I mean, he's he's gone. She's fucked, and you're angry. Randy, you're you're interrupted by a hand swatting across your face. A gauntlet gauntleted hand. <laughs> I suppose I hit a nerve. Uh, and you take five non-lethal damage. <laughs> the man kind of like rub. Well, he doesn't rub the back of his head. Well, no, he like adjusts his gauntlet. There you go. Just. 
You will not speak of Lady Burgone in that manner again. Do you understand? That was Lady Burgone, he said? Yes. Oh, you Your motherfuckers me. better be writing down this valuable information I'm getting. It's not. <laughs> Kane, you're the one who takes notes. Come on. You know what you do. <laughs> like, Ow, that hurt. Writes it down. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm going to try to lay on hands on Randy. Just kind of like... Uh, he's probably going to stop me, but... There's 12, uh, all those hit points, this is non-lethal. I've rolled well. They'll let you. Yes. They'll let you. Um, the knowledge nobility. Oh. It's not great. Yeah. <laughs> oh, knowledge I'll say that you've heard the name Burgone said before, but you have no idea what connect I mean you can assume Lady Burgone is some sort of noble woman, most likely this man's wife from the context, but you don't know what position she holds, what position he holds, so you don't know what position the Burgone family holds. Does he have any uh does he have any like uh 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 I don't know like medals, a signet ring, any sort of like identifying marks that a knowledge uh, yeah. might pick up on. You saw it rather closely as his, as his right hand swatted across your face. Uh, he oh, is I am Sherlock's homing the shit out of this. Yeah. yeah, that's a circumstance bonus if I've ever heard one. Randy's like, oh no, my face, and gets a mirror and tries to make out the shape of the map. Boom! Yes. Now we're not prisoners. Now it's our army. <laughs> I know this uh, dude's first, second, and last name. <laughs> I know what color his areolas are. <laughs> They're purple. Uh, very, very you upsetting. You need to lower your blood pressure. <laughs> Eat a uh, fucking tomato. <laughs> a fucking tomato. Um, on his signet ring, there is the image of uh, kind of just a stag's head. Like the mounting of a stag. Um, the color isn't really there. It's just kind of a stag, so it's gold. But um, with that crit and the knowledge local, you do recognize that um, uh, shit. Somebody slapped you with a well. Um, King, uh, not King, uh, Count Aleron Burgone, the Count of the Would Count you please of post Burgone. the spelling in the chat. What? Would you please post the spelling in the chat? Alright, thank you. Um. <laughs> <laughs> and so the memory of Joe's. Hey, the wrong Bourgeois. Yeah. <laughs> bourgeois. Did you say Bourgeois? I, no, I said, yeah, I said Bourgeois Z. That's what I read it as. Uh, I, yeah. I, mean, I heard like like a really bad intentional mispronunciation of Bourgeois Z or like Bourgeois Z. And Bourgeois. <laughs> <laughs> Borgulus! Borgulus! Um, oh, that just sounds gross. Borgius. I know the name uh, of that cavalier that you never played. <laughs> We're in trouble. <laughs> yeah. Of course, yes, it is. could have been literally any NPC that picked us up. Everyone's five levels higher than us. Fair. Yeah, we uh, suck. But Count Burgone is the war marshal king or not the king no he is a king no he is a duke <laughs> he doesn't know you you're lucky i'm a slow writer because otherwise you'd be fucking all sorts of my notes <laughs> that's that's literally how randy I, okay. thinks about I it as the star is clear biography. He, a he's, he's a king no no he's a duke no he's the war marshal history written for each of the 36 states in the empire my man's been busy cool and the duke of Panon has the Count of Burgon as his war marshal. 
So you're talking to like the head of Penum's armies. Mm. You've been slapped by a very by man. the Grand Marshal of Penon. Oh well, shit. Oh, all right, that slapped you. Oh, honor, very much. Yeah. Don't wash <laughs> that cheek. I'm oh. sorry. I laid on hands. <laughs> uh, do I detect evil? It's it's okay. I still got one point in non-lethal. Uh, tight. No, you don't detect evil. Okay. Nobody thinks they're evil. <laughs> <laughs> But they do evil things. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, those red-eyed guys were just, they were they were in it for kicks and... And, and, and murdering just, babies. And pretty much whatever evil. else. Just murdering. It doesn't have to be. They were just, we're here for, you know, we're just hanging out, man. Just, you know, for shits and war crimes. <laughs> yep. <laughs> they're here to burn your homes, but they're not doing it for the memes. They're doing it to be horrible. I really want to know what the word is. Uh, Continue with your questions, or... Alright, I was being real slick with this shit. What was I doing? Uh, no, you were asking me questions, and I was giving sideways answers. Uh, oh, what was the last question? <laughs> They're really into that filicide. That's, That's the word. Of killing someone else's son? Yeah. So you watched that today, too, huh? Yeah, no. I did. I yeah. watched a whole lot of sun murder. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what 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 type of dramas drama have you been been watching on the on the on the on the stage lately? It's actually Dragon Ball Z abridged. Yep. No, yeah, we and I watched that too. Yeah. Yeah, we did. Anyway, plot to kill, plot to kill, plot to kill. Smother his children, you bitch. <laughs> all right, all it right. Be, Jesus, uh, okay. Mm, wow. It, it would be. I haven't done that since Crusader Kings. I haven't done that since Tuesday, <laughs> <laughs> when he played Crusader Kings. Exactly. Kane was there. But, yeah, right. I was the one doing the smothering. He was the maid. While well, I watched watching. you play Crusader Kings. Yeah. Me. <laughs> anyway. Who gives a shit? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> who? <laughs> who, I ask you? He, um... Hi, Cedric, giver of shits. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> that giddy, that laugh -like was laugh. so joyous. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny. Uh... Speaking of Cedric, you guys yes, like, he's come to save the day. Take a look <laughs> around and like the yew tree that Cedric was originally inhabiting. You don't see like the door to his house anymore. That's the no, opposite. He bowed like a bitch. <laughs> no, no, he no. bounced. He saw danger, and he did not call Crime Stoppers. Yeah, you know, and he also <laughs> didn't fall asleep on the fall asleep on the job. That's the thing that he didn't do. Sorry, guys. You know, uh, you should be. That's all right. This will be fun. I'm a monk. I'm the only one who can fight this. I have there three natural attacks. Thank you. <sighs> After what? Like a full minute? After being a skinwalker. Oh. I, my strength is bad. All Ironically, my con is better now. Also a furry. Yeah, <laughs> a half furry. He's a half furry. He only wears the head. I just have a unibrow and funny colored eyes. Oh, <laughs> that's Because right? that's how Paizo describes the witch wolf. So, all right. He kind of, he looks at, looks at you and he says, Do you know the status of the Hamlet? Fucked. Fuck. You know, like straight up, like no <laughs> euphemism, like actually, like most of it's been burned to the ground. It wasn't us. Full By of who? terrible... <laughs> Abominations filled with fucking nightmare pumpkins. Nightmare yeah. pumpkins. No, but they were nightmare pumpkins. They were filled with abominations. Yeah, they were pumpkins filled with nightmares. Yeah, hence the term nightmare pumpkin. He kind of gets a the the um oh shit. Eleron gets a kind of a frown on his face and turns to the man standing next to him, and they speak to each other in in Midlandish and. uh 
basically their conversation is well, Aleron turns and it, did you find any drugs on them when you searched them? Nah. It, man shakes his head. No, sir, we did not. We did find some notes that were rather revealing. It would appear that this is true. Kind of looks back. The rest of uh, the rest of the group again. <clears throat> Very detailed blueprint of a nightmare pumpkin. Yeah, Gareth yeah. just here, just here, like, I'm sure got I, I ate all those drugs last night. <laughs> just every mutagen at once. God, he looks like a freaking terror. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> PCP right now. <laughs> taking taking uh, precise notes about the zombie plants have have actually backfired. Wait, that means these guys must have fifteen or more intelligence. Good job. Yes, guys. Tommy, they're <gasps> noblemen. Oh, fair. Or, yeah. Or. They learned how to read because they have <laughs> money. <laughs> it was just such a hard, like, fucking shut up, you dumb, stupid idiot. That's me. Uh, um, <laughs> no, the uh, Gareth doesn't show Sinvoka any of his books because he doesn't want to know what the dumbass is going to do with the. Uh, Dead trees with ink on them. Probably hit you with them. Probably. Uh, that's what I've been doing. That's what I would do. <laughs> I can't read it anymore. It makes me mad. But... <laughs> now, Alaron kind of looks around at, at, like at the rest of you guys. Just very well. He, he points towards the columns of soldiers um, marching along. Is you will go with them. These men, and he points at the men surrounding you, will be your guards. You will go with your arms, and you will remember that you are but four in an army of thousands. Aren't we five? You are five. <gasps> Kuratama! Kuratama's here. <laughs> Kuratama's in the trees. <laughs> Kuratama is asleep. Um, you are four with a token of a character that will be activated once the character's player has joined. <laughs> this guy sees uh, everything. He does. He does. Bro. He's just like Cedric. What have you used, Cedric? Except he doesn't have a, a scrying mirror. He just flies over the forest. Yeah, so that's what was in the desk. Um. <laughs> anyway. I can separate OC from IC. Uh, can we have all? Do we get to keep our horses? Mm. Here's a diplomacy check. No. Nope. No. 22. Those were expensive. 23. You will have your horses <clears throat> returned when you are released. For now, your horses will join our baggage train. No. Uh, real quick, just real quick, let me just real Jigsaw quick, ain't no go good at pulling cars. Um, you named your horse Hello, Jigsaw? Cloud. Yeah. As Gareth man. is gathering his stuff up, just kind of underneath his arm, points a finger at the Lord. Gareth. No. Just gonna point at him? No, 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 no. no. <laughs> it's, oh, oh, I gotcha! <laughs> Nope, it's going to be... point. He's turning into an invasion of the body snatchers. Low magic setting. Yes, it yeah, is. That's is, why he's this, charming him. This is yeah. This is something undetectable if it doesn't work. It doesn't work. Damn, oh, damn you! Damn it! Damn it! Well, all right then. Pretty much was just going to ask. Gareth's going to say, "Are you sure I can't ride me horse? I'm pretty short." <laughs> and I do bad accents when I have food in my mouth. Uh, <laughs> I'm about to speak in dwarf when I eat the food. <laughs> I got a mouthful of high ass. <laughs> <laughs> well, if if everyone is uh is uh, marching, then Baku would would get one of his uh, travel ration and begin eating uh eating uh eating d dumplings while tra traveling on foot. Okay. I want to ride the horse so that they don't slow everyone down. 
Um, you st you get out your rations and start eating them, and one of the guards just swats your ration out of your hand and onto the ground. Rude. Rude he indeed. Points a finger at you and he, he, he bellows out, "You will eat when the rest of us eat." It kind of like shoves you along. In Sylvan, I'll tell Baku what he said. Oh, what a shame! I. <laughs> Perfectly, perfectly good, good uh, dumplings going to waste. Thank you. Now, dumplings don't keep. That shit was rancid. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say. The fucking. Oh, it's vinegar flavored. Yeah, he's, he's, oh, he's, he's, I can really yeah. miss the, the salmonella. Oh. Mm. Oh. oh, oh. I love no. dysentery. Shitting out my <laughs> organs is a favorite pastime. <laughs> I've got a slow fever, everyone! Thanks, so <laughs> <laughs> um, So you guys start moving along. Um, the hey, army... Just the Rude. <laughs> what? Uh, no, Gareth was just asking if he could have his horse because he's short and would slow everyone else down. But, it's all good. Don't worry. The army begins moving along. Yep. Um... It's a couple hours um, before you guys pass Castle Daventry, where the army stops. Um, there are plenty of soldiers that you can see have gathered around Castle Daventry. No one, uh, no one really makes. Uh, I don't know what I was saying. So here I know it. Was, um, sorry, I'm just having a massive brain fart. Um, can I even be heard? Have I been disconnected? No, no you're fine. We got I'm you. Fine. I can be heard. All right, sweet. I was really hoping that my brain fart covered up by a terrible internet, but nope. it no, un unfortunately not. Unfortunately, we all know about it. Sad day. Um. <laughs> Whatever, I'm going to skip that whole sentence and I'll come back to it if I'm reminded about it. Just roll with it. Um, the army's pretty much big enough to seal off Castle Daventry. There's a moat around Cav Castle Daventry anyway um, that cuts it off. Um, but the army pretty much surrounds it um you guys are at the back of the army so by the time you guys arrive they're sent from castle daventry and is speaking to uh representatives of the no 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 uh you guys are just kind of in uh you're just taking a backseat view to all um, there are a few guards around you, but for the most part, most of the army, like I said, has been moved up into assault positions and have begun digging their own, like, fortifications around the castle. That was quick. Well, well they've begun. They haven't, like, immediately created it. Come on. So do they keep, do they have the keep or is it under siege? It's it's under siege. Uh, okay. Oh, which means we could be here for months. That ain't gonna fly. But uh, Gareth actually has forgotten. Are Daventry? Do we like Daventry? What are we? We're kind of indifferent right now, honestly. Well, okay, cool. The whole civil war business isn't really our deal. Okay, good. That opens up more options. <laughs> Don't worry about um, it. Anyway. <laughs> the, uh... Like I said, they are making their fortifications and their preparations to besiege the castle, but they haven't actually begun. And I don't know what my cat is doing. She's just jumping around the room. Hello. Oh, um, okay. The uh, 
The castle itself doesn't be doesn't seem to be giving any responses other than there is what appears to be a representative from the castle has already made his way out to speak to a representative from the army from the Pannonians. Pannonians. Pannoners. Yeah, you know what you want to call them. Them guys. Those guys, them men's. <laughs> That's how you this is how you spell their names. Pannon. Joe, For your Randy. Joe, Joe, there's a G in there. I know. Pano yeah. so, It's like so what, is he, what is he saying to the Paninis? <laughs> yeah, there it is. You have no idea. You are at the back of the army. Lame. And how would you pronounce that? If I called it Burgone. Baloney. <laughs> it was as well. <laughs> Man, we it missed we missed a beautiful moment where all three of us could have just shouted baloney. <laughs> Then <laughs> so, so, so far, so far, so far in the session, we have bastardized words and 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 also alienated certain people. Man, man, I just gotta say though, like, and considered killing an owl. Being considered killing an owl. Joe and I have had a lot of sessions that went way longer than this. And that, he did. That we got that we did nothing. Zip zilch, not a squat, nothing. Just made dumb jokes for five hours and zero plot occurred. This yeah. is this is we're doing very well. <laughs> yeah, that kind of game. We're moving along. Things are happening. Um, speaking of moving along, mm -hmm. um, the the emissaries they they leave they go. Cool. The emissary crosses the bridge. The bridge is raised. Um, the emissary returns to uh, Aleron. And uh, basically what you see is Aleron turn around and kind of, well, you, yeah, no, you can see from where you're at what he's doing. He just kind of gives a motion, pointing his finger up to the air and making circles with his, with his finger. Oh shit, um, Aleron one's gone crazy. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and basically cannons start to be brought up. And like preparations are now made to besiege the city in full. Before they were just kind of like starting now they're like they are going for it they are going to besiege the city the city is clearly not or the city the castle is not going to give up the the besieging army is not going to leave so a siege okay all right boys pull up a chair we're gonna be here a minute you would appear so uh, if i were going to be here for a while i can make everyone uh, some of some some of my uh some of my home 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 homeland food Ugh. i don't know All if right, he so... has like the the materials i mean i would assume most of the basic uh, ingredients to make common food items in the dragon empire could easily be found in the camp what as as someone who's recently had a lot of Asian foods, he's like, I had actual ramen today, not top ramen, for the first time. That's the no. That yeah, way. I don't. I don't think you're gonna find egg noodles, ground beef, uh, a variety of spices, egg yolk in which to fry your food, or no. several other different types of dough. Yeah, no. No, I, I can uh, at least make some, not all of it. Maybe. You guys are left to your own devices for the most part. There are guards who are nearby who are in charge of watching you. But for the most part, no one's bothering you. I would uh, talk uh, to one of the guards and give him a wine, uh, a wine, 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 wine skin. We're going to be here for, for a while, so... Uh, so... So we we should be friends for the time 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 being, <laughs> and I'm going to talk to him if he wants to. Okay. We, do you um, speak the language? Yeah, dude, you keep forgetting you don't speak the language. Oh yeah. I, I so you, every, no. every time Buggy tries to talk to someone, he's like, bah, 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 and they're like, Torn it. <laughs> well, I don't know. I mean, Baku's a big bird person. He could just play dumb and like offer the wine skin and act all cute and shit. Maybe they'll adopt him as their mascot. Yeah, so I'm, so I'm going to offer, 
I will offer That's a gato. the guard a I will offer the the guard the wine 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 skin and and go back to uh, go back to everyone. Okay. Um. Uh. uh I'll I'll look at the. Uh, I'll sort of like like look at him and then gesture to Baku, the guard he was talking to, and I say it's wine, and I I pantomime <laughs> drinking. Do you speak Midlandish? No, fuck. I've been, I've been going off this whole time that everybody here speaks fucking English. No. These guys are from the Midland Empire. They are Carolisian or Midlandish. The noble spoke English or whatever, because he's yes, a noble and he's educated. He did, yes. The rest of these are dumbass soldiers. Okay, well, I still pantomime drinking. And then I'd probably take a pull from my own wine skin. He pulls his own skin, you know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, I play a little bad. skin flute. <laughs> Do we want to communicate with right people? Right there. Um, Alright, yeah. It's it's up to you guys. You guys. Yeah, how bad do we want to communicate with them? Sivoga's just gonna kind of sit quietly and wait. Uh, Baku would uh, would get another wine, uh, wine, wine, wine skin he had out and begin begin drinking. Can't speak the language. Better get Chip drunk. Right there. Got nothing well, to do. Well, what is Baku going to do? He's gonna Maybe. level the three. He's gonna put the ranks in linguistics. Well, that didn't yep. work. We've been over that. Yep, I would probably be drinking and talking to uh, Randy to learn more in, in English with the time we have. That might be the best way to to serve our time in captivity. To tell you the truth, does it? Yeah, I'm a. It, it goes between being like three bars and being like one bar. Weird. Same. Yeah, I don't know what's going on with it. My guy has been fine. That's strange. He's gonna shit the bed. So what's gonna happen? Is Savoka, like, we get to a place that's under siege and, like, everything stops and he just kind of, like, sits quietly by himself for a while and then sees Baku try to talk to someone he obviously can't talk to and try to make food he obviously can't make. And Savoka's gonna, I don't know what kind of check it is, but I'm gonna use my downtime during the siege to teach him English. <laughs> well, At least I mean, he's, he's both... spent some time. Toilet. <laughs> we're that already. Fun. Yeah, we're doing that. That's what. That's what. That's what we're doing right now. Is there a check to be rolled? Uh, yeah. Roll. College local. Uh, what? College local. Uh, yeah. Okay. And Randy too, because Randy is all. Is also helping. I swear to God, if you don't guidance me, Donald. Never mind. Three. <laughs> That's what the fuck. Hey, I've had two net twenties. It's only slightly bad. So he's either shit or amazing. Yeah, that's my what life. Say, Tommy, you've been rolling nothing but ones and twenties this whole night. What the hell? I'm killing it. I am the best and worst at things. You're a terrible <laughs> yes. teacher. Now listen, Baku, go, over, go, over, go over to him and tell him his mother is a whore. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to learn English. Here's the first lesson. There, there, and there. There you go. Okay, moving on. No, oh, God. <laughs> Not to be confused with your and your, two, two, and two. Or night and night, or knife. Which is not spelled how you think it is, and but we're not going to go over what that was actually spelled or why, because I don't know. But <laughs> but knives is not spelled knives. No nope. knives. I would like some knives from your go over supply over there. And oxen and <laughs> how they are not oxes or boxen. Yep. And the oxen or boxen. What, what what race is this, and how do I play it? And these are contractions. They mean literally where the two words are made from, but you can't use them as that's what they mean. Or you could be Buffalo from Buffalo, the Buffalo, Buffalo, Buffalo. Buffalo. Right, Buffalo. Buffalo. <laughs> Buffalo. Teach you about its and its. Um, right. Never mind. All right, let's see. We have talked to an owl. We have seen dead people. We have gotten captured, and we have bitched about the language. Yeah, we have. But <laughs> give it to me, Joe. Hurt me, hurt me real good. Uh, hurt Donald harder. Oh yeah. <laughs> so yeah, he's pretty Randy much just waiting Volga. for a dude to pull to walk by. 
managed to teach Baku a decent amount of English to the point where he can effectively speak it. Good. However, their priorities were a bit skewed. Like Randy was like, like teaching him basic sentence structure, while Sid Volka was like, "This is how you say this curse word." <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, so I, I taught him how to speak, but you taught him how to talk. Yes, yeah. which is, which seems like a very like huge like character flip flop considering Randy and Sid Volka. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um. So I'll say whatever Baku. Attempts to, oh god, uh, <laughs> spill onto Baku. I mean, Baku, whenever I mean, he attempts to diplomacy people in English, he'll get a neg four. But when he tries to intimidate them, he'll get a plus four. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, Baku, get us out of this situation. I'm gonna mute my mic and watch. I think I think this is <laughs> this just feeds into my belief that a lot of my characters look like assholes, are genuinely nice people. <laughs> Fair. Alright, Donald. You know how to speak the language. Now time to put... Now time to, to put my amazing diplomacy power, power uh, at you. Go get it, dirty bird! Does this, did like a significant amount of time pass while this was happening? Has it been like a couple days? Yeah, actually, let me describe. It's been uh, actually a couple of weeks. Ooh. Uh, what? Okay, so really quick. What's what's Gareth been doing this whole time? Yeah, yeah actually, he's, been, he's been like getting shit faced and taking drugs. <laughs> <laughs> no, this whole time we're in the camp. Gareth's like looking around trying to take stock of where they're keeping everything. Where they're keeping everything? Like, just, like, where certain items are, if he can, like, get a mental picture. Um... Because, for example, if we need to escape, knowing where a whole ton of explosives could be could be great, real fun. So, for the most part, the baggage train has been split up between, uh... Like, the different batteries, if you will. Um, so there are four massive cannons that have been rolled in, and like a fourth of the baggage train is with each of the cannons, and that's where like camps are built. Uh, oh, these guys need earplugs. These these cannons must have like so many gunpowders. Yeah, how much yes, gunpowder do these things need? A lot of gunpowder. These things are lo lobbing huge, huge. Things. Huge, huge balls of iron at stone walls, and when I say huge, I mean, I mean meow. Um, I also <laughs> mean they probably weigh about oh, I'd say about two hundred kilograms. So Jesus. that's about how are you for... launching the five hundred pound steel ball? Into yeah, a... iron. Rock yeah, they're iron. iron. Whatever, but like it's fucking metal. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the peanut gallery. Yeah. Now Gareth is pretty much like looking around, trying to figure out where everything is, and see if he can come up with a good escape plan here. Uh, uh Baku definitely definitely appreciate the uh, two lang 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 language teachers he uh, he he have. Yeah, I hope you do, man. This is gonna be Tell a you mess. What, man. <laughs> it's fucking shit. That's what it is. So, He's like an eight year old who's just learned every cuss dicks. word. I can't. I can't edit these out. <laughs> it's literally removing from the narrative. Oh, sorry about that. No, no, you're fine. Um, you're you're totally fine. <laughs> At this point, I, I think I may be a little overzealous about it. I really, I want to see Donald mess it up though. So is just play nice. <laughs> Don't go too what? crazy. Is this is this what all three of us are doing for the next couple weeks, or is there yeah. stuff that learning a language takes a long time, man? You can't just be like, "All right, Donald, sit down." A B C D E F G. Fuck shit. J K L M N O D X. Okay, sorry. Is real quick. We are are we like actually just hanging out here for two weeks? Yeah. Okay oh. then. Okay. Uh, that gives me time. Uh, if, if we're all right, crafters, here we go. In, in, yeah. camp, uh, in camp for two weeks, then I will definitely work on my gun uh, design. 
considering it's getting close to 11, part of me thinks we're probably going to call it here soon, but... Yeah. yeah. Would be the yeah so let's, let's, let's figure out your diplomacy checks before we go. Let's, let's yeah. 20 minutes of Donald just being great. I, I, this is where I, all the natural 20s are going to go on his neg I, four. Dip, dip, uh, dip, 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 uh, diplomacy is, is a five with the negative in the wall there already. Oh, the negative already in the roll. All right. Yes. Here we go. Yes, also just five total. So you <laughs> approach one of the guards, effectively rolling a zero. Well, no, not a zero. If effectively, yeah, you're rolling a four plus one. So, um, well, you you approach one of the guards, one that seems to speak a bit of Angleish. You about oh, I'd say five words in. There's a fist connecting with your gut. Oh, good. Kind of weird. Yeah, yeah, they are. <laughs> um, Baku uh, is speaking <laughs> to this guard. The guard just, like I said, just hauls off and just punches him in the gut. And just the camp into the prisoner camp. Why are you making a clockwork check? Well, making a gun uh, for the details. Oh, fair. Oh. Okay. I can't talk to people about toilets. I will make a gun. <laughs> <laughs> you walk up. You walk up. You walk up to a guard, and taking a mixture of the greetings I taught you and the words that Sinvoka taught you, <laughs> you walk up to this guard and you say, "How's your dick?" <laughs> <laughs> Slugs you all on right in the mouth. <laughs> oh, it hurts so bad to laugh. Oh. Oh. All right. okay. Jesus. Basically, Gareth is, like, so, these things are huge cannons, they clearly need a shitload of gunpowder, something that is combustible. Uh. And they have to be keeping that somewhere. Yeah, and they're definitely keeping it in carts that are being delivered daily. Okay, let's see. So, do we know where the, like, the carts are just coming in from the Midland Empire today? Yeah. Hmm. Actually, they're actually being brought across the Angle River by yeah. boat. So okay. Ooh, by boat you say? Mm hmm. Hmm. Might be able to work with this. Give me a minute. <laughs> you guys, do you think? So the twenty for the gun work. So how much progress do I make? Um. You make a small amount of progress. You kind of have, like, the figurings on, like, a mechanical trigger system. Like, just the basic ideas. Man. For, Man. All, for all the cities that sinvoka has been captured in outside of besieged places, there's a lot of PTSD going on, and now he's making a gun... Uh, I... Now he's making a gun. Now he's making gun. I, I think I would. Hmm. Yeah. You know what? Let's tempt us some fate, shall we, gentlemen? Here is a stealth check. I would like to. I'm going to spend a minute to. I will guide him to you. Thanks, bro. I will spend a minute somewhere where people can't see me, if possible. Yes. Does that exist? Yeah. Okay. To call my idol on. And we are going to try to sneak into the camp. 26. Okay. What am I doing? Uh, I'm reliving an old campaign again. The member berries return. You guys will understand that more when the one-on-one -on -one comes out. Or after you've already seen the one-on-one, -on -one, you've watched the whole thing all the way through. Because sequentially, it'll be way before <laughs> you'll, this. You'll immediately understand as soon as it enters the subscription list, you'll be like, wow. <laughs> Okay. Oh, then, bam, shazam, look at and that. And then you'll fold space and you'll <laughs> travel somewhere completely different because you must be fucking prescient or something. Yep. Fold space is from something. Folding space, oh, moving space. without travel or traveling without moving. Anywho. What do Jack I find in the camp? Hands. Um. <laughs> So moving about the camp, you find a lot of soldiers. 
Um, definitely. That's the main thing. There's a lot of soldiers. There's a lot. The Pannonian army seems to be well equipped. Um, they are, after all, Imperial troops. Um, well equipped, well trained. These guys look to be veterans of some recent war, which is probably the war to try and maintain control of Davin. Um, actually, when he sneaks in, he he can't understand Midlandish. He cannot. But be a level or two, we'll get there. There's a there's a heated argument going on. In uh, if only you had Kuratama in, in with you, he would be able. To, but oh, if only we have somebody to cast our prime languages. <laughs> if only. Um, that's probably on my spell list too. Is the irony? Okay. Let me look at the spells. Hold up. Wait a minute. Mm, perhaps a thing. Yeah. No. No. no, no mm, never mind. Mm, perhaps. <laughs> perhaps a thing to do. Gags. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, no. No detect languages from what language are they speaking though? Midlandish. Midlandish. But why would Kuratama understand it? Uh well he can memorize things. Oh oh yes, auto hypnosis. Yeah. Um Psionics are fun. Yeah. Yeet. Um Yeet. Yeet Yeet Everyone Yeet. Think... Yeet with me. I <laughs> uh, <laughs> already did once and you you get no more. I don't get a second yeet. Um, nay. nay, no second yeets for ye. Um, <laughs> so, basically, as Volk is sneaking about, he hears... I don't know. He, he can definitely hear Alaron um, coming from a large tent nearby. He sounds angered and a little... I don't know, distraught. Um, he's kind of like ex exclaiming and from tone of his voice giving orders. You don't know what he's saying, but he's clearly like things have changed quite a lot for him in these moments. Okay. It's very hard to describe a, lang a conversation with just emotion. <coughs> Well, I could make a sense motive check, perhaps. Well, you don't need to because I just do the same thing. That's fair. Yeah. Okay. Um. What kind of? I don't have auto hypnosis. I'm not psionic. Is there any other check I might be able to make that might, uh, might help me memorize what they're saying? Uh. Well, you can't write. I can't. Um, make a... Make a knowledge local check. And depending on how good it is... Well... Oh, well, there you go. Boom! Um, since we'll go through some feet of... Well, I guess maybe he taps into his previous life outside of being on lore, and he kind of taps into the greater experiences he's had, and um, he's able to basically memorize the like syllabic noises. You you don't like you're able to reproduce the words that. Um, the Aileron is saying, though you don't know the meaning, you're able to reproduce them. Okay. Fair enough. Uh, that probably is enough to make Simvolka stop thinking he needs to find prisoner camps and get to the city as fast as possible. I will double back to my friends, I think. Yep. Yeah, yeah. How far out did I get? Uh, you made it to, like, the center of the nearest camp, which happened to be the camp where Alaron has his headquarters set up. Okay, fair enough. So, I, I would say it would probably be 
Oh, a 500-yard walk. Okay, so not that far at all. Okay. In that case, I will double back, and I'll grab Gareth, and... <laughs> Gareth, repeat the French that I just heard. What does that mean? Uh, which one is that? Midlandish? Yeah, yeah, Midlandish. Um, so in Midlandish, kind of weirdly, he says it kind of... He kind of says it like Christopher Walken, like he moves his syllables in weird areas, but he does repeat it reasonably well. Um, basically, Sinvolka is like a couple of cursed words, and basically, Sinvolka says, like, the bastards, they probably had a hand in it. We can't claim what is rightfully ours we will have to return to the empire be a pause i can't believe the emperor is dead Ooh. 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 well gareth repeats all this of course all right all capital letters i put in my notes the emperor is dead what does that mean now those sound like tommy <laughs> notes if i've ever heard them in the name of the prince. <sighs> okay, so on the off chance that they try to take us back to Midland with them. Which they will. Real quick. Joe, how, about how far off are those boats? About how far off were those boats? Yeah. Um, oh, I would say not far enough that the curvature of the earth would have blocked them from view. So within five miles. I know you're not on Earth, but Lauren is about the size of That's fine. Just... I think hmm. we should make a break for it now. I don't think I can swim five miles. That's why we run. On water. No. <laughs> you guys are nowhere near those boats now. You guys are, like, on foot. You guys are, like, a day away. From the... Wow, okay. Um... See where... I, I don't know if... You're looking at the map, but you guys are in front of Castle Davin. Okay. On horseback, it would be about eight hours, but a day's worth of traveling. Twenty-four. Okay. Why do we? Like why do we want the boats exactly? In. Are we trying to like? Do we want to steal the boats? Is that what I'm hearing? No, because I was thinking they were a lot closer to us if we could see them oh, sure. and make out where they're where the gunpowder is coming from. It's just oh, super oh, flat. Oh, you're referencing the Angle River. The boats yeah. coming across the Angle River. No, um, you couldn't see them, but you know they weren't coming from the uh, from the bridge. They were coming from the coastline. Eh, good enough. Okay, so they're just bringing the barrels in like a huge heap huh? every day? Yeah. No, that works for what I need. What do you have in mind? Uh, well, you'll see... They let me keep my shit for some reason. And they probably didn't think much of it because it's just a bunch of crap, as I said. But they do happen to be components for certain spells. One of which... I don't quite remember what it's called. All I know is I make fancy little fireworks. Hopefully and the other one... Hmm? Tommy and I have bad experiences with dancing lights. Oh, we do. Oh, we do. Light. Spark? Nope. Pyrotechnics? Pyrotechnics, there fireworks. we go. Uh, are you thinking of uh, Ignite? I think he's thinking of Snapdragon fireworks. Yeah, uh, yeah, Ignite is not a far enough distance for what we need. Snapdragon fireworks, on the other hand. You want to get hoisted upon your own petard. Yeah. So, Snapdragon, yeah, Snapdragon fireworks for my level, has a 480-foot range. Which, if we're close enough to see the cannons, if we're in one of the camps around them, I do imagine that the big we can see the big bundles coming in every day. Yeah. So, I fire one of these off, hit a barrel, hopefully, make a big old kaboom, distract everyone, and then we pop an obscuring mist and get the fuck out. 
Sounds good to me. Sounds uh, like a plan. Then we just double back into the forest. Because I'm pretty sure little Cedric fellow there is going to be mighty pissed if somebody starts trancing through there with a the whole army. I agree. How far are we from our horses, Joe? Or, excuse me, how far are we from, like, the baggage train? Because at this point, the I think baggage train, like I said, has been split up. Okay. Are we... Uh, you don't see your horses in the camp that's nearby. Do we see horses at all? You do see... Yeah, there are plenty of horses. Okay, so it shouldn't be hard to just, like, grab a horse and take off. Uh, I mean, reasonably hard, but not as hard as trying to find your specific horses. Right. Okay, yeah. fair enough. Well, it sounds like we have the beginnings of the plan. Mm -hmm. Not the baggage train, just like random stabled horses. Yeah, do we have any of where those are? All around us, right? All right. Well, it sounds like the next session of A House Divided is going to be escaping from captivity and blowing up gunpowder. Seems I good. finally get to use Gareth for the intention I, I'm planning on him being built in towards making gigantic explosions. He did it! Nice. Yes! Well, this is probably a good place to knock off, unless there's anything else yeah. relevant. Yep. So, I'm gonna go ahead and just say, thank you there guys you for watching. We're sorry, we're terrible, and we missed a bunch of sessions. But I'll get you that one-on-one -on -one just as soon as I can. Be sure to like and subscribe for more videos. Thank you again, Joe, for running this thing. It's been super great. Say bye, guys. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye. Bye.